Hi, Bob's How you guys doing? And welcome to Autopsy Simulator. I've been looking forward to this baby for a while. Let's get YouTube in here as well. Hello, hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to the live stream. Autopsy Simulator is finally here. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time now. There's not that many of this type of games. There's the Mortuary Assistant, which you know I absolutely love. And now we have Autopsy Simulator. Now, this stream is also sponsored by uh, Team17, who published this game. Uh, so if you want to check it out for yourself in the description, if you're watching on YouTube, on, tw on Twitch, you can type exclamation mark Autopsy. On YouTube, you can check out the description to get a link. It comes out tomorrow. We are playing it one day early. And this video is never gonna get monetized. That's the I played the demo for this two years ago. I don't think I've ever had that fast of a of a demonetization age restriction on a video ever. So it's it's doomed. But that's glad why that's why I'm glad that we're being sponsored. So I don't have to worry about any of that shit. We don't care about ad revenue today. So yeah, uh, you can try to eat during the stream. It's not recommended. But I'm not your mom. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But it is gonna be a little fucked up here and there because it is called Autopsy Simulator. We're gonna be doing some autopsies, figuring out how people died. Now, I know there's a story mode that we're gonna be checking out starting in a moment here. I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, Mirosama, thank you for the uh, many, or thank you for the 20, 26 months, actually. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that great with blood, but hey, uh, I think this one is gonna be a little bit more graphic than uh, the Mortuary Assistant. Mortuary Assistant is very tame. But we'll see how it goes. Let me check the settings. Are we all do it? I have nudity filter on, which is good. Otherwise, it would be would be a little iffy. We got everything up to max. Audio seems fine. I can actually increase it as well. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. I think we're just good to go. I'm excited. Been looking forward to this one for a while. As I said, it comes out tomorrow. Make sure to check out the link. Uh, it will. If you click the link, it'll lead you straight to the Steam store, so you can wishlist it. Or I don't know if you can pre-purchase it already. Uh, but you can at least wishlist it for tomorrow. Let's hop in. Here we go, baby. Boy. <clears throat> this game is wild, yes. <laughs> Here we go, baby. It's time! Office of the Medical Examiner, Beatsville. Dr. Jack Hammond is speaking. Wait, wait, wait one Happy second. Now. Okay, I didn't realize. So I alt F forward? <laughs> Because I didn't realize the subtitles were going to be that small and there were subtitle settings. So before I get added by every single one of you guys, can we increase the subtitles? Can we increase the subtitles? I'll increase it to max size. <laughs> Alt F4 speed run. I didn't want to ruin the cutscene. See, that's what we, this is. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. I turned up the volume. I, I apologize. I blasted. Yeah, my, my, my resolution is way too high. I should have realized. The <laughs> game is over, guys. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> oh, boy. That was loud. Yeah, I'll turn it down for a second here while we're in the in the title screen. Okay, settings. I am going to make it max size. Let's go. Max size subtitles. All right. Uh, can I do new? <clears throat> new game? It says continue here, but I don't have any. Can I delete? Delete. There we go. Delete save file. Here we go. <laughs> Also, wait a minute. Did I miss anyone uh, over on the Twitch here? Astro Fox, thank you for the 29. Sweet Cheeks with the sub. Razor Knight with the 17. Baby Sammy with the full year. Shell Rain with the 7. Uh, Void with the 2. Dino with the 2. The Squint with the 2 as well. So many 2s. Expired Noodle with the 2 years. Uh, Shiv Shivan Lee with the 8. Kenny with the 33. Kazoo with the 4. Detune with the 6. Tanker with the 20, Manio with the 11, Sunburn Popsicle with the many gift subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Unknown Shadow with the two years. So many two years. Miss Jesse, pa Jesse Park with the 23 or months, almost two years. Gina with the five gift subs. Aluna Simp again with the 10 gift subs. Crypto with the 26. Thank you guys so much. If I missed anyone, I apologize. Uh, I'm excited to hop in here. Both of these nuts with the 42 months. Macchiato with the two as well. And Mech with the 18. All right, we're gaming. It's gaming time. And Renske with the 17 month super sub. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, here we go. With big subtitles this time. <laughs> so I'm not going to alter for immediately. Let's go. Office of the Medical Examiner, Beatsville. Dr. Jack Hammond is speaking. Here we go, baby. How can I help you? Good evening. This is Kate Brooks. I'm not sure if you remember me. A few weeks ago, we talked about an article I'm working on. It's about your wife. I dropped by last Friday to speak to you, 
but you weren't working at the time. <laughs> I asked the security guard to pass on a note for me. I would like us to discuss the topic of... I thought I had made it painfully obvious for the last time. No! Please don't call me again and stop inquiring about my wife. Let go, voice acting? <sighs> they don't let me work. God damn it. I'm not in the best frame of mind to record a lecture for my students now. I'm feeling completely broken. Self therapy. Oh, meds this time. Self therapy. Okay, welcome to Autopsy Simulator. I'm so excited to finally be playing this game. We've been waiting for over two years now since I played the demo for this game to finally come out, and here we are. Yeah, the voice sounds familiar. It kind of, I don't know. I don't know where I recognize the voice from, but I've heard it before. Self therapy. Check the bathroom for your pills. There's also so many things I can interact with. Uh,. Can't read any of this though. We got some apple thingy. What is this? Um, oh, read the journalist note. Achievement unlocked. Hi, this is Kate. This is Kate Brooks, a reporter for the New Orleans Weekly. I couldn't find you at home. I'm starting to suspect you are avoiding me, Mr. Hammond. Anyway, as you know, we'd like to write an article comm commemorating your wife's achievements. We would like, we will be delighted to talk to you about it. Along with this note, I'm also leaving my business card. I hope to find you at home or at the office. Regards, K. Brooke. I know you can also press R to read it properly, but I can apparently read that text. <laughs> um, also, we're smoking. Don't smoke. Wednesday. It's not my favorite day, although it's certainly better than Monday. It is Wednesday today. <laughs> that is accurate. I I'm assuming that's not based on the actual day. Maybe it is. Who knows? All right. I'm going to look in the bathroom. There's more to interact with there, which we will. Now, this game is going to be similar to a mortuary system with all kinds of crazy stuff happening, and it's going to be a great time. It's also going to be a game where you probably shouldn't be eating at the same time, but hey, uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> time to pull myself together. Oh, God. Ooh, pills. We broke the mirror a previous time are we tiny work. or what now we can't even like properly look in the mirror we have to like tiptoe over the counter <laughs> what the fuck we are a tiny dude uh, i need to set the camera first we're a short king let's go uh take the camera from the storage room i want to interact with some more of this <laughs> let's go um can i Awful. drink my coffee it would be good to finally repair the coffee machine i guess it was in another life can i can't interact with any of this. That is very sensitive. What the hell? We got that classic uh, lawyer lamp or something. All right. Uh, storage room. Take the camera from the storage room. There's so many things I can open. I'm assuming throughout the, the game we're going to be interacting with stuff in here or something. Um, where's the storage room? Storage room is probably this one with the box. It's out of order. The laboratory. The it is. The lab will be open tomorrow. Oh, I see. Maybe over here then. Bathroom. We have a storage room. Let's see. This place is starting to look like a hoard. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I remember, Jack. Don't forget to hit the record button this time. Me, when I accidentally don't start the stream yet. <laughs> I realize because no one's chatting. Uh, okay. Place it on the tripod in the dissecting room. I've, I don't think I've ever done that. I have done that when recording off stream videos. Where I was like doing intros or something, and I'm like finally done with up. the intro, and then I look over and I see that I didn't even start recording, and I'm like, no, <laughs> I have to do it again. That has never been too bad. Okay, we have enabled the the nudity filter, obviously, so <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> hey Jojo, what's up? Now I just have to get Tell everything in frame. Hi there. Frame the cadaver and begin recording. This I'm gonna start on. recording. There November we go. November 20th, 1991. Time, 8.43 p.m. Recording for medical students from the University of Missouri. This autopsy is conducted by Jack Handman. Yeah, why do we Hello, take the everyone. weirdest angle of all Welcome time? to the autopsy room. Today, you will have the dubious pleasure of following a full autopsy, step by step. For those of you who have already performed your first autopsy, this will refresh your basic knowledge. In turn, for those whose knowledge is only theoretical, I just... I advise not to watch this after a meal. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, why did we get the worst angle of all time straight to his hog? Come on, man. That's Scalpel, not what people want to see. Scissors, syringe, it's already bloody. magnifying glass, knife. I guess I forgot to clean the knife. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Clean it. Uh, take a look at the chalkboard. Okay, I see. 
Uh, Toby Chambers. It's not Tony. It's not Tony Pizza, but it's close. Uh, I'm looking at the... Is this not the chalkboard you're talking about? Oh, this chalkboard. I see there's multiple chalkboards. What do we got? Let's start. Okay. Put on Always protective wear an gear. apron, mask, and gloves. Goggles are a must when the job is splashy. And in case of sharp accidents, it's worth having disinfectants at hand. It's true that you won't get ptomaine poisoning straight away, but if your liver or kidney aren't doing well, you may end up with diarrhea. Okay. Uh, second step. The cadaver is placed on its back on the autopsy table. The pathologist stands on the right of the deceased. Make sure that all the necessary tools are always at hand so that you don't have to run around looking for something like I do all the time. In the process of revealing and securing forensic evidence, it is difficult not to interfere with the original condition of the deceased. Written and photographic documentation plays a vital role throughout the entire examination process. During your research, I wonder how be accurate patient, this is going to be to realize. Yeah. <laughs> but above I all, hope not. I mean, maybe to detail. very much. Many entries are visible at first glance. I think so. But sometimes they can be cover for more interesting stories. Okay, and right. lastly, remember that nothing teaches you self-narration like working with the dead. So get used to that fact soon. Everyone will think you're talking to yourself. Is this the voice actor for the da dad in Mortuary Assistant? I think I think I just had like a little light bulb light up. I think it might be. It sounds now, very similar. Now the police folder. That will contain all sorts of pertinent information as to who the deceased might be so and they what are potentially connected. happened to them. <laughs> so let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay. Look through the information provided in the police folders. That's the police? That is a chalk. That is a cutting board. <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, I guess you need those. <laughs> All right, police folder. Hey, uh, here. There we go. Police department. Uh, oh boy. Thank you for the blurring. Uh, police evidence file. Report of death by Detective something. Uh, let's call number blah, blah, blah. The deceased is a local man named Toby Chambers who was homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. He had got into fights and had been bullied by the problematic youth of the town. He was that type of man who never kept up alcohol, which caused him... I can't read the rest. The body um, was noticed by a station employee during the morning shift. Initially, he thought that someone had thrown some boots and a coat in a nearby ditch. It took him a moment to recognize the pile of clothes as the body of a man. Uh-oh. He worked most of his life at the local port dealing with unloaded cargo. He was fired for being Ford drunk Coupon. and starting fights. His son runs a hardware store on his own. His wife left him years ago. They both had no contact with the deceased. I like how they introduce the story without you just reading a I mean, I don't mind reading lore entries, but it's nice to have the voice actor do it instead. The deceased's name is Tobias Chambers, locally known as Old Toby. Homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. The deceased was found on the outskirts of a parking lot at a gas station, where he often begged and persistently offered drivers to wash their car windows. Signs of libation were found around the body. Libation. Empty bottles, traces of an inept attempt to start a fire, and a scattered makeshift blanket. What is libation? That's, That's it. That was fancy. Uh, put down the police folder. All it's right. worth remembering the context around Getting the scene drunk. of a death. Okay, I see. This allows you to better interpret any traces found on the body. I shouldn't start the procedure without gloves. Now it's our turn to take some it's pictures. It's not the same voice actor. Interesting. If I can just remember where I left the camera. Um, it's in here somewhere. Pick up the photo camera from the desk. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for highlighting. <laughs> there you are. Classic. I knew it was here somewhere. Classic Polaroid. As I mentioned at the beginning, before we begin the internal examination, we need to document the cadaver in the condition it arrived in. We begin with a full body photo. Try and stick to the top down rule, but this is not always possible. Let's keep in mind it's all about the legibility, not the perfect frame. Boop. Voila, now we move on to the next step, General looking for traces. Photo. Take your time. Look at the corpse from different sides, from different angles, up close and from a distance. You're looking for anything out of the ordinary. I see, okay, so we're, like unlike Mortuary Assistant where you're mostly focused on like f figuring out a demon. I know there's gonna be demons and stuff in this later as well, if it's similar to how the demo went, it's gonna be wild. Uh, but we're obviously also trying to solve murders here because we're an, uh, we're like a forensic specialist. Uh, there is something with your leg. Some wounds in the feet and signs of frostbite, probably because the subject's shoes were too small. 
uh, for free? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do I need to take a photo? No. Hardened hands, worn out by physical work, and frostbite? Frostbite? Head. Why can't I take this? Oh, I have to take that last, probably. I think that's what it's telling me. I see scratches and wound there. Why can't I take this? Zoom? Ah, there we go. The boiler unit wound. Looks old. I'll take a closer look later. And then the head. Is it kind of cool? The pick was not censored? Uh-oh. <laughs> I did not see That's that. That's something interesting. It will Don't be necessary take, to check you know whether this injury was severe pictures. enough to cause damage to the brain. Uh-oh. In a moment, we will check which of our initial observations will be worthy of further consideration. But before we get to that, I need to write down some basic data. Uh-huh. Head! Feet! <laughs> Stomach! General! Hand! Perform the autopsy. Okay, you better lead me through this. I like how they set it up as if we're recording a video for like a group of students So we are talking out loud and explaining everything because I'm stupid and I don't know how to do this. I appreciate it Personal information <laughs> the deceased was unclothed date Okay, as you can see I note everything down on previously prepared forms Every pathologist must keep a detailed record of every step of the autopsy. This not only allows you to track the procedure, but also collates the results together, upon which you may back up your conclusions. So, enough of the boring prep. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the spots I photographed earlier. For this, you're going to need a magnifying glass. Tools. Here we go, magnifying. Mm. Which spot first? Look at the old wound first, because I think that's going to be the least like a interesting. Mark. No doubt painful. But it's not pertinent for this case. That's what I was thinking. We look at the hands of frostbite. I think the head wound is... Oh, we look at... You guys, look away for a second. Is this going to be disgusting? Definitely a painful mix of frostbite, abrasions, and blisters. Old Toby had been wearing shoes too small for him for a very long time. That's if he wore any at all. Okay. <laughs> you can look again. You can look again. The Here we can gone. see frostbite on the fingertips. We can tell by the characteristic skin color. I can confirm the presence of ecchymosis on the deceased man's head. The appearance indicates the intravital nature of the wound. Add alcohol, which I can clearly smell. And this was an accident just waiting to happen. Ecchymosis? So far, there are a lot of superficial wounds but only one serious injury to the head. Let's go back to our notes. Okay, we go... I like the previously found... I see. Wait. On the clipboard mannequin right here. Uh-huh. Wait, no, not here. Am I stupid? I like the previously found wounds on the... Oh, there's a... Clipboard mannequin. What is a clipboard mannequin? Am I stupid? I think I am stupid. Oh. On the form? Over here? Oh, on the form. Wait, wait. How do I get the form? How do I get the form out? Tab? No, not tab. On my clipboard. How do I grab the clipboard? Spacebar? F? R? Q? How do I open it? <laughs> wait, let me check the settings real quick. I'm stupid. <laughs> Controls? Um, Open and close notebook. And, oh, no. Open and close clipboard. Shift. There we go. Shift. Excuse me? I'm pressing shift. Open and close clipboard. I'm pressing shift, it's not doing anything. Oh, I need to go over here. Oh, here we go. I need to go to the First, body and I then there. The okay. Of the entries <laughs> That's how we make do it. notes for each one. So... I can't just open it everywhere. Okay, so we have one Even wound over this there. Type of wound didn't contribute to the deceased's death. We're still required to record it. We're not in frost season yet, but high humidity, wind, and the inability to warm up can also be causes of frostbite. If Toby's body was cold for a prolonged period, the frostbite could have resulted from the body's defense reaction. The safety of the internal organs is more important than fingers, nose, or ears. The head wound. Definitely an important clue. This is something we'll investigate first. As you can see, this is cool. we don't have much to go on. Let's write down what preliminary causes of death we can think of. Okay, I click on everything. I mean, I'm assuming this is nothing. Also, John, thank you for the eight-month super this sub. This is of no interest to us. That's what I was thinking. 
Considering the conditions in which he slept, his body may have become hypothermic. The nights have been particularly nasty lately. We will check if there are any signs of freezing internally. Various types of accidents are a common cause of death among the homeless and the elderly. Perhaps old Toby slipped and accidentally hit his head. Since the deceased clearly smelled of alcohol, I'll add oh, alcohol poisoning to our list. Whee. Okay, alcohol, freeze, and fall. Put down the clipboard and continue the autopsy. We still have one thing left from the basics. Rigor mortis. Before rigor mortis examination. What? Well, we take our deceased by the hand. Gradually we raise it. Okay. Oh, uh, there. <laughs> this is like, have you ever, have you seen those TikToks of like, parents being like, I saw this on TikTok. We have to check if she's actually alive or if she's actually sleeping by raising her arm. If she's sleeping, her arm will stay up and then the children will be like, <laughs> just the arm up, which doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> If you see, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? Am I stupid? I think I'm being stupid here. I'm supposed to just hold it and then go up and down. Okay. I see. Now let it go. As you can see, okay. the hand falls loose. What's the conclusion? Death must have occurred more than 72 hours ago. The police information appears correct. Okay. Uh, let's go. Head trauma seems the most promising, so we'll start there. For this, I need an oscillating saw. Oh boy! This is where it starts? We're gonna go up in his head? Is that what we're gonna do? I mean, I'm assuming this is why we're here. Okay, select the skull. Oh, we need to click on him. Select the... Do I... <clears throat> Wait, select the skull saw. What? I have a skull saw? Oh, here we go. Skull saw. This thing right here. <laughs> the cut is made from ear to ear. Oh, Jesus. oh baby. Yup. So how uh, how was dinner? <laughs> After which we remove the skin and the top of the skull. See, this is why I'm glad we're we're sponsored to stream this, so I don't have to worry about YouTube ads because there's no fucking way. That this will get monetized. Rest in peace. Uh, begin a thorough brain analysis by examining the organ. Oh, I'm just uh, put, picking it up. Yoink. We That's can see mine. That the brain's cerebral gyri in both hemispheres are symmetric. The brain looks good. Let's take a cross section. The brain looks good. Okay, we're gonna pick it up. Some pathologists prefer to examine organs without removing them. However, for me, it's much more convenient to examine them on a board, which we'll do now. Okay, so then we're gonna put it on the chopping block then <laughs> on the cutting board. Holding a long narrow blade knife in the dominant hand, the? we slowly cut the cranial nerves on both sides. All the time, pulling the brain towards us. Oh, I am moving okay, I see. What and the uh, the way it squishes though. So far so good. Uh huh. <laughs> the hematoma seems Let him to have cook? Had no effect on the brain. Okay, nothing, nothing was wrong with the brain. Return to the autopsy. We just chopped up. <laughs> Need uh, three slices of brain for our dish right here. This is a cooking show, actually. I'm, I'm totally cooking right now. Let him cook. It's we not what it looks like. Accident out as well. The cerebral gy gyri in both hemispheres are symmetrical with clear grooves. Exclude fall. Okay, interesting. So it would have been different if there was a fall. Brain is in good condition, uh, so I we see. have no choice. But to proceed to the internal examination of the other organs. Okay. I grab a scalpel from my kit. Oh boy. Here we go. Scalpel time. The incision time. should be in the shape of a letter Y. Oh, you actually have to fit. <laughs> use a deep cut to reach all the way to the ribs and to penetrate the abdominal wall. Ah. Uh, gotta go lower. All right. Now we peel back and separate the skin. With an empty hand, pew oh, here we go. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What? What do I do? I'm trying to grab there we go. Now we need to remove <laughs> the ribs. We'll need the loppers for this. Cut open the first body achievement. Select the loppers and remove the ribs. Oh, here we go. Loppers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I Quite see. a satisfying crunch. 
for <laughs> Why does satisfying After removing crunch? the cartilage tissue, we instantly notice two things. Firstly, <laughs> there is no congestion of the internal organs. This means that although the deceased was hypothermic, it didn't kill him. Secondly, the deceased smoked like a chimney. So, we should take a closer look at those lungs. That's we can sick. see widespread black... Despite the tragic oh, condition of the lungs, they are not the cause of death. Alice to smoked too. It didn't kill her, but... <clears throat> uh, what was I talking about? Wait, you're talking about his wife? Lungs. Y yes. Advanced inflammation. That is... It's actually crazy. Like, if you've ever seen the lungs of, like, I mean, it looks like this, basically. If you've ever seen the lungs of a person that smoked, like, their entire life, it's actually so disgusting. <laughs> like, if you know what your lungs look like on the inside, I feel like no matter the, like, uh, the, the side effects of stopping, you would, like, be, oh, God, I need to stop this shit immediately. This is why you should not smoke. Look at this thing right here. It's like a little piece of charcoal in your, in your stomach or in your chest. Uh, mark the damage on the lung on the clipboard. I s over here on the main. Wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to click somewhere. Mark the damage to the lungs on the clipboard. Do I click on it on the lungs? Or do I click? I'm starting to click over here. <coughs> um. Or do I gotta go back to? I can't go back to main. Brain? No, can't go there. On the drawing? I'm trying to hover over it, but it doesn't show... Oh, there we go. It's here. Here we gotta click. <laughs> See? Uh, lungs with extensive black-gray deposits, visible inflammatory changes, and excessive distension of lung tissue caused by cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, what now? The syringe. Now's a good time to collect some samples. So I like this range and obtain three samples. Are we not gonna pick this one up either? I mean, I guess it's the same one. We have the same situation here. It would have said the same thing. Okay, we don't put that back. Um, syringe. Specifically three. From the eye, the heart, and the bladder. I'm interested to see the concentration of alcohol in the body. See? Vitreous humor analysis is very useful in indicating long-term alcohol abuse. Slurp. <laughs> from the eye? <laughs> That's Five great. Five milliliters from the left ventricle should do it. Yummy. Left on the bladder, we draw about 10 milliliters of fluid. Now we take our samples to the centrifuge. But before I do that, I need to find my notebook. My dyscalculia means that I always double check the settings. <laughs> Please excuse me while I run and fetch it. Okay, notebook from the office? Uh, are you gonna... Excuse me? Was that... I think that was just a door closed. <laughs> Why is this open now? Oh no, this was open before. I remember there being a massive jump scare here. I think this is basically where like the tutorial or the demo ended. And I remember there being a massive jump scare from that door. <laughs> Even though I played it two years ago, I was a little scared it was gonna happen again, but uh, I think we're fine for now. Okay, retrieve the notebook from the office, which gonna be in one of these, I'm assuming. Not this. <laughs> Cuddlebug, thank you for the sub, by the way. Yeah, no jump scare, please. I mean, there's got to be jump scares, most likely. Green. Isn't this my... This is my office. Uh, we got alcohol, too. John Damien's. It's literally on the desk. Oh, yeah, I'm totally this blind. There it is. <laughs> covered in stains. I should check this out under the microscope sometime. Use the centrifuge. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is a great place to be. I wouldn't even, I mean, I know I said this when, like, in Mortuary Assistant. I guess here I can see that you want to, like, Let's solve to crimes. But I can't really imagine, like, working as someone who cuts open bodies. <laughs> this is something that it was exclusively in horror games for me. We no, thank you, IRL. Into the rotor. Place the samples onto the centrifuge rotor. Also, cut up, take it with the five gift subs. Okay, we're going to separate the different, uh, should we... Is it spread out now, properly? we set the appropriate time and speed. Set the correct values on both dials and start mixing. How do I know the correct speed? I'm assuming that's somewhere. Can I look that up where that is? Is that in my clipboard? How do I know the correct values? Uh, before, do I have a notebook? I can open my notebook, right? How do I open my notebook? Um, N. I can't open my notebook. I'm trying to press N, but it doesn't allow me to open. I mean, it must have it somewhere. 
A considerable collection. Do people do autopsies alone? Uh what is going on over there? Oh, but maybe you gotta go to the body and then open it there. I don't think I can. Shift. Uh doesn't say anywhere. The test thing? Sorry, I feel stupid. Oh here. There we go. Okay. You have to click on the machine, then you can read your notebook. Uh, presence of alcohol in the blood, time 15 minutes, speed 17%. Okay. Um, 15 minutes, speed 70%. Okay, let's roll. Start centrifuge. Your sister does this for a living? Hey, I don't envy her. Perform toxicology test, we're doing it. Uh, oh, shit. The fuses again. Are you sure this is probably the demon? You don't know it yet, though? Oh, uh, excuse where, where me. Oh, yes. The blood alcohol concentration. That was definitely a person in the window. <laughs> that was, that, it was like a single frame, but I'm pretty sure there was a person in the door there. <laughs> what the fuck? Collect the samples from the... As I said, this is going to have some uh, mortuary assisted vibes, Let's see too. what we've got here. Okay. Everything's separated as it should. Our lab is closed until tomorrow after the last, uh, incident. However, considering that Toby's favorite eau de parfum appears to be ethanol, I'm guessing the results won't surprise me at all. Let's go further. We will now French. focus on the cardiovascular system, specifically the heart. We remove the organ oh. and examine it closely. We look for dark hypoxic areas, clots, or other elements that stand out as abnormal. At first glance, the heart looks fine. The pulmonary trunk and aorta seem to be in good condition. There are no pathological changes that would have contributed to Toby's death. Okay. Now let's take a closer look at the stomach. Size is normal, healthy, pink color, and as expected, the stomach has no major external damage. We must now cut it open and inspect inside. I see. We will do it carefully so that its contents do not spill out. Oh, let's put it, uh, oh, wait, where did the brain go? Excuse me? <laughs> you shouldn't, if we're gonna have cross-contamination with brain and stomach fluid we or whatever. We open the stomach along the greater curvature from the heart <laughs> to the, the pyloric trash. end. Oh boy, I gotta. Oh. I already feel like there's something left inside. Uh, okay, didn't you not even clean this knife? You're using the same bloody... I mean, I guess... Because <laughs> I was talking about that when we did Mortuary Assistant. I was talking about why do we have to use a new set of tools for every single, like, uh, embalming. And there were some people that were responding that were like, well, this is the one for the brain. I won't kill him. Yeah, but people were like... This makes a lot of sense. It has to be okay. done this way for X, Y reason. And I was like, all Small right. Small amounts of yellow grayish food content resembling some kind of meat. But I guess for Either this reason, it doesn't hadn't matter. Eaten in days, or the bulk of his stomach had already found a way out. Looks like I'll have to find the missing contents. Elsewhere? Uh, there are two ways here. One is obvious. <clears throat> And the other is... It couldn't have been suffocation, could it? Right. I'll add this to the list and move on to the deceased's neck. Okay, possible death causes. This is like, uh, <laughs> we're, we're doing uh, Shadows of Doubt over here. In thorough trache trachea analysis by examining... At first the glance, the trachea looks normal. Trachea, sorry. Same result as with the stomach. The external inspection doesn't tell us anything. This time, we'll cut on a tray. We're cutting. While cutting such a small organ as the trachea, we must make a precise incision. To be able to cut with the very tip of the blade, we must hold the scalpel as we would a pen. Okay. Bloop. And after careful examination and deduction, we've got it. A clogged trachea. Ah. It's time to summarize the whole thing. I see. So they suffocated. Turn to the autopsy. 
Based on the report and preliminary documentation, it's safe to assume that the deceased passed out after consumption of alcohol and then fell asleep on his uh, back. I see. So it's not a crime. It just happened. Then, uh. the gastric contents refluxed and flooded the airways, causing death. Rest in peace. So we crawl, we do That's this. why we don't forget about the recovery position at dorm parties. <laughs> you gotta inform the students watching this right now. Um, so he's probably fell asleep or fainted after drinking a large amount of alcohol. Its concentration suppressed signals to the brain that control the gag reflex, leading to choking. Beside the... Uh, I already did it. It's this. We do accident, most likely. Not natural, I would say. Accident. And now it's all clear. The death was suffocation. Now, signature. Ah. Uh, I can I can draw here? The mystery is solved. <laughs> but for us, this is not the end. First, the dead body needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> Imagine you're drawing... <laughs> You get your autopsy report of the person. <laughs> it's just a smiley face. Oh, this fucked up. I'm sorry. Uh, write your signature at the bottom. I did. I'm good. <laughs> smiley face. For this, we will need to close the body and grab the needle. First, don't we put back we the organs and the shit? Flaps. I guess they don't really need them, but still. Wouldn't it be obvious when the... I mean, I guess they didn't have and any family. We sew the deceased back up. I see. Uh, we need to have needle. I'm using the baseball stitch technique. This stitching method is very strong and quick to do. Oh. Whee! Okay. Beautiful. Need for the body. Now we say goodbye to the deceased and put them safely in the fridge, ready for the next stage of their journey. <laughs> Chopped off the head. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I mean, sure. Oh, here we go. You better not come out of there. God, I'm tired. <sighs> I'll drop these samples off at the lab on the way to the bar. Frozen meat. Uh, head to your car in the parking lot. Here we go. So this was tutorial Uncle time. Stephen, I don't feel like drinking alone today. Uh, shouldn't you? You should not be drinking. You just inspected a body of someone dying because of drinking. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess you get detached from what happens in your work eventually. What the fuck? Am I dreaming? Is this gonna be our wife? Dog. a lot of skulls. I'm thinking. It's a ball pit, but it's skulls instead. This is not very child-friendly. I feel like you would be fine. It would just be a little uncomfortable. Sands and family meeting. Did we follow Snickle driving. There we go. <laughs> the dash con ball. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Why would? Why did that happen? What? Okay. Chapter one. Are you not gonna explain what just happened? Forgive me. Oh, there we go. It was a nightmare. <laughs> sort your head out. <laughs> Objective. <sighs> me every day. What? What? Christ. Uh, what a dream. Ah, oh, fuck. Take your pills. You have a streamer room? Are you a streamer? Are you sure you're not? Are you sure you're an autopsy person? It seems like you're a streamer. With this this level of disgusting stuff in your room? Wife? Can I say anything? Sir. No, no reaction, just... <laughs> okay, sure. What the fuck? That was an extremely slow animation. It's been almost a year. I'm 
checking around. I want all the lore. I will take the pills in a second. I want more lore though. What? What is this? Oh, we we get a full little bit. It's a it's a quick story. Uh, Peony, thank you for the fifty gift subs. Holy, thank you. Uh, we have. I wasn't able to support her through this. Feels bad, man. We got a pregnancy test. We it's have, always good to have something for a rainy day. We got a lot of money. Those are a hundred dollar bills. That's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen hundred dollars. It was a miracle that the coffee didn't wash off the writing, <sighs> and that she said yes. Will you marry me? You put it at the bottom of a coffee cup? <laughs> okay, I see. She got it for her first day of work, and she Kinda broke cute. it the same day. She said it was for luck. <laughs> you bro- oh, I see. Rip the pants. Are you- Do us part. It, this is something that, like, no- I don't know if this was, like, unique to our, uh- Probably unique to our elementary school, but when I was a child, I learned writing we had two pens. We had one that was like for unofficial writing, and they gave us one of these. You had like a like a pen exactly like this. This is how I learned to write write as a kid in school. They gave you one of these, and then they would because you would be very deliberate about how you wrote because it has you have to like dip it in ink and stuff, and then write with it. Yeah, you we got a fountain pen. That was how we learned how to write. Because if you were just sketching, you could use like a pencil, but if you actually wanted to properly write, they did this because you had to be way more del deliberate about what you were doing. We're just kind of, I always found it extremely annoying, <laughs> so I don't know if it worked very well. Till death do us part. Well, how did that work out? I think I looked at everything. I want to read the letter, but I can't. I want. Can I not read the letter? It's always good to have something yes, for a rainy day. Can I not? It feels like there's a middle... Why can't I read the letter? I don't think I can read the letter. I'll read the letter in a moment. I don't think I can do that yet. Wait, but I, I can't, I'm not allowed to move away from this. Oh, here we go. We'll read the letter another time. I don't know. Get me out of here. Okay, take my pills and the bathroom. Is this is my bathroom. This is not my bathroom. Uh, we got a nice house. So a little dirty, but everywhere. Uh, it's fine. A little office space over there. This bathroom, I assume. A pill a day keeps the defective Jack away. Didn't build a hole. I love it when games do this. When they actually build like a relatively detailed outside, even though you you will never like be there ever. Just adds to the immersion. Um, take your pills in the bathroom. I would like to take these. It's a shame this won't help with my hangover. You should not be taking medication with alcohol, but I guess you're not drinking. Uh, the fucking phone. <laughs> the fucking phone. Okay, okay. Poor Rosonic. I know I'm late. I'll be there soon. It's not like the dead are impatient. Jack, no. Uh, Alice? Who, He's a hater. Who is this? It's Charlotte Graves. No. Oh, uh, oh what? God, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. I thought... Uh, I thought it was work calling. It's okay. I hate it when work calls me at home, too. Uh, how is everything? We haven't talked since... You know. Uh, well, there are good days, and there are bad days. What can I say? At least I can hide away at work. Well, you always were the most comfortable in the dissecting room. Listen, I have an unusual request. Okay. How can I help? It's nothing serious. I just wanted to ask. Do you have any pictures of Alice? Maybe one where the two of us are together? I'd love to have something. To remind me of her. I guess. I'm not sure. <sighs> I'll look through her things. Dead rest, Rebecca. Thank you. I'm sorry to trouble you with this. All this can't be easy for you. I'll get through it somehow. I've been meaning to sort through her stuff for a while. Have you asked Stephen if he has anything? Yes, I, I spoke with him this morning. He said he gave everything to their mother and that I should ask you. I see. Jack, I know you're trying. That you cope somehow. Stephen's there for you. Although, well, we all know how he can be. But, um, I mean, if you want him to reminisce about Alice, talk. 
I really should go now. I overslept, I'm late for work, and, uh, and I still have some errands to run on the way. Oh. Okay. Yeah, voice acting sure. is great. Sorry to keep you. I'll look for something and send it over. Thanks for the call, and bye. Oh, do you have my address? Um, not on hand. You'd best remind me again. 292 Browning Lane, apartment uh, 432, docks? Johnson City, New York, 13796. How am I supposed to got remember it. all this Thanks. shit? Thanks. Got it? You got all that? I would never remember me. that. I would. That is impossible. One ear in, yeah. other ear me out. <laughs> and that's okay. Really, no problem. Thank you. Take care, Jack. You too, Charlotte. I have to write that it shit down. It was nice to hear you. Yeah, give me coordinates. Can you give me the uh, latitude and longitude? Well, that was a bit unexpected. Get a wriggle on? Find something to send. What is get a wriggle on? Find a photo of Alice and an envelope to send it to Charlotte. Okay. What the fuck was that? Was there something in the. Was there a ghost? Something creepy happened, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, is that gonna be. I mean, I have a photo right there, but that's not what she wants. I'm assuming it's not gonna be in there. I guess, I guess we can check in here. Oh, there's a bottom thing. Bottom Alice drawer. Alice Charlotte in Amsterdam. Amsterdam? This is not Amsterdam, but I may be close to it, I guess. It's hard to believe they've known each other for so long. <sighs> Amsterdam in the middle of the farm. <laughs> These were from Thanksgiving. Stephen invited me. I was going to give them to his mother, but then I met Alice. That was the first time I saw her. You know the big farm in the middle of the city of Amsterdam? Um, find a photo? Yeah, I already got it. I need to find an envelope now. Uh, you got any envelopes lying around, sir? It would be better if Charlotte had this. It deserves to be on display and not hidden in a drawer. Uh, this right here? Yo, let's okay. go. Okay, time to go to work. I'm seriously late. I want to read this Some days, I just feel like sending fire to all this paperwork. I'm fed up with it. The sensitivity with moving stuff is so high. I want to read this. Maybe, I think we're going to come back here. An indispensable element of every office. I should really try and read a few of these. I love how we have the same book like seven million times. <laughs> Look at this on novels. 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 Just make sure we got some novels here. We got some more novels down there. We got some more novels up there. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving up. Time to go. Post a letter in the mailbox. Uh, I should grab some coffee and aspirin on the way. Also lock your door, sir. Been reading a lot of novels. Can't run at all. My guy is slow. Is this what These the fuck? These tubes are brutal. Is this normal? They just have posters in the hallway? <laughs> That thing, that thing, <laughs> you know, that thing. Where's the mailbox? This place looks like I, the apartment itself looked kind of nice, but this is a little, uh, a little janky. I mean, the floor's kind of, kind of nice. How could you even write on this with chalk? Seems like it's, I mean, it's probably not marble. That would be a little too fancy. Red means scary. Red means exit sign. Mailbox. This is my standard correspondence consisting of bills, advertising leaflets, and pious reminders about the upcoming end of the world. Stephen Monarch, there was there a was there a reference to that as well? Out of service. I'm assuming that oh wait, we are gonna be outside. Never mind, I was wrong. That's why they put detail to that. Makes sense. We're not gonna go by car. But this drugs, drugs, drugs. <laughs> I mean, we're not in Amsterdam, so it probably doesn't mean what you think it means. I hope this helps, Charlotte. Uh, okay, all done here. Time to go. Huh? Oh, fuck. Excuse me, I didn't see anyone. I heard walking. Get in your car and leave for work. I thought we were gonna walk to work. Ah, damn. I forgot my jacket. Ah, well. I'll brave it for tonight. Too bad. Okay. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem in the best... Oh, here we go. 
don't know if he should have dri driven. Didn't he have a massive hangover? <sighs> nice and fresh. At least it's peaceful here. Is it more? It's... I guess it's late. Do I have a watch? All these doors are just open with no no keys required. Good evening, Mr. Ridley. I guess Ridley. no one wants to be here at all. <clears throat> How can I help you? The timesheet, Hammond. Oh, hi there. You are ti Are you not the tiniest? What the fuck? <laughs> are you a child? Why are you so fucking small? You can barely see him over the desk. Hi. Can I help you today? The fuck, dude? Red Pete on the loose? <laughs> anyway, get to my Some office. Some corpses have more personality than this guy. Bro. Christ. Who leaves the window open in the middle of November? <sighs> so I'd better you. check the answering machine. Stop the cold draft. I got an achievement for closing the window. Let's go. Hi, Jack. I dropped by a little early today. I left the body with Ridley in the corridor. He wasn't sitting in the locker then, so maybe he'll even throw him into the room. <laughs> well, how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, it's your first birthday without her, and... This, um... I still have a hangover, and you know me. I run to the john like the neighbor's fucking dog. You know, today I slipped on his shit again. That fucking furball. He always has to shit next to my car. Anyway, I can't come over in the evening, but we'll catch up on the weekend, okay? Bye. Ah, I almost forgot. Charlotte called me this morning. She asked about you, so answer your calls, Jack. This time it's not a reprimand for being late. <laughs> That's bar for the course. I wonder when this clown will learn to look under his feet. Muffin time. Inspect your muffin. Birthday. <sighs> I actually forgot it was today. Alice, yum, yum, yum. make me muffins like these every birthday. <clears throat> oh, the muffins remind me of her. Later. I'm sorry. I always crave something sweet after a section. <sighs> okay, Let's joke's try over. To be rude. It's just funny. Apron, gloves, and get to work. So far, every time you said like this, remind me of her. This reminds me of her. Which I mean, I guess it makes sense. Put on the apron, hanging in the dissecting room. Okay, let's go. Give me the muffin. Yeah, can we eat the muffin? What is this? Are you just going to leave it here? Maybe later. I'm still hung over and hit my tip me over the edge. Just going to get dry and stuff. Forbidden muffin. Looks pretty yummy. We go in the lab now. We're going to do lab stuff today. Let's go. Yeah, can I not drink coffee and stuff? I mean, I guess he doesn't want to drink anything. All right, here we go. Put on our butcher's apron. I mean, um, oh, man. scientific suit. <laughs> I remember you. You were on that talent show. What was your name again? You mean the person that's dead? You remember <laughs> the corpse? Remind the corpse reminds me of her. No, no, no. I need to order another batch of these. <laughs> that's fucked up. I've got to remember to do that later. <laughs> and that's the whole point. Set up the camcorder to document the autopsy. Okay, what? Is, was he talking about the body? Steven laughs at me for recording everything. He says I have a bigger collection of stuff like this than most of the creeps he's caught. Okay. November 21st, 1991. Time, 9.13 p.m. The autopsy is conducted by Jack Handman. Lecture for the Medical University of Missouri. After yesterday's lecture, you should already know the ins and outs. So today we'll be consolidating our knowledge. So, where this do I start? Is, this looks That's very right. fucked up. Police folder. Uh, look through the information provided by the police folder. Ah, yes. Samantha Barker. Now I remember. There's probably gonna be a lot of chatter about this. When questioned, Friends admitted that Samantha's last days before losing contact seemed extremely happy and relaxed. She also quit drinking alcohol and mentioned something about rehab. The friend also admits that there was no indication of an impending tragedy. 
Can I slightly lower the music? It's a little loud. Under 75. <clears throat> oh, and then it immediately stops. Oh. Uh, okay. Found in her own apartment by police patrol. Officers were called by a concerned friend of the deceased, who had been unable to contact Parker for several days. During the interrogation, a friend of the deceased admitted that Samantha never got to grips with the sudden fame that came after winning such a high-profile talent show. After her first album became a commercial success, she was hit with a creative drought. She suffered panic attacks and severe sleep problems. Drugs and medication came into play. The deceased was found in her own apartment, in a semi-recumbent position on an armchair. Large quantities of alcohol and empty packets of sleeping pills were also found in the apartment. Down the well, corner. let's see what settled this matter. As you can see, the body is fully clothed. Therefore, before we move on to photographic documentation, uh -oh. We must remove the clothes. This time, we don't have to focus on the clothes too much. However, there are cases where a clothing analysis can lead to the cause of death. Interesting. We're going to be doing that. Uh, nudity filter, don't fill me now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's not how I expected. I expected they would keep like a bra on. <laughs> okay. God, now we can continue with the examination. Again. Begin by taking oh, photographs I mean, of the cadaver. An autopsy, I guarantee guys. that over time it will cease being embarrassing for that. you. Okay, pick up the photo camera from the desk drawer. Okay, no, but the the photo is gonna not have the nudity filter. Uh oh. Um. Look away. First, we photograph the whole body. Okay, uh, we're gonna do that from all the way over here. <laughs> so come on. And now, any suspicious oh looking marks or words. Oh my god, turn wolves. it away. <laughs> why, why is there no nudity filter on the photos? Find marks on the body. Okay, well I saw the neck. The neck looks extremely concerning. Interesting. Very uneven. We need to investigate this. What do you mean very uneven? Look at those freaking like, giant restraint marks. It looks... And then... Mm. Yes, I've seen this many times. What? How about you say something instead of whatever this is? Hmm, I've seen this. Is that not something? Oh, there. I'm trying to frame it in a way. Yeah, there we go. You know, he didn't even say anything with that one at all. Uh. See marks. <laughs> well, well, there's even more here. Why does he talk so weird? <laughs> well, well, well. Sir, you are desensitized to your job. It would make sense, I guess. Uh, oh, there's stomach, obviously. Oh, God, we gotta f zoom this in real tactically. There you we don't go. Get such bruises from a normal okay, condition. perfect. <laughs> A few we will need to look into here. Let's go. We, we fixed it. <laughs> In photos to the photo board. Here we go. Here we go. Nick. Hanging mark. Right hand, left arm. Stomach bruises. General feet. Feet. Perform autopsy. Here we go. Notes prepared. Time to take a closer look. Okay. What am I doing? I'm probably inspect the areas of concern with a magnifying glass. Of course, they already explained this before. The number of bruises suggests that there may have been some kind of tussle. Yeah, that, that, that's a ton of bruises. What the hell? What the, is this like a gunshot? Oh no, that's a navel. <laughs> but it looks like there's a lot of indents Such there. Bruises are caused by either a very heavy blow or by some internal issues. I thought there was a gunshot for a second. I forgot how human anatomy works. Some furrows have imprinted more strongly, others less. As if someone was, um, undecided? Feels bad, man. Yeah, the... And here's something interesting. The skin of the deceased is covered with numerous blisters. Some of them are ruptured, others still contain fluid residue. Uh, 
Last one was feet. More numerous blisters. <clears throat> we have some leads to investigate here. Let's write this down. Okay. We have... Given the condition of the deceased, it's difficult to tell immediately whether the bruises were the result of a struggle or perhaps the result of iron deficiency. That's On the neck of the of deceased, we can see clear furrows, indicating that strangulation may be the probable cause of death. Yeah, this YouTube video is doomed for sure. <laughs> Although it's easier to have abrasions on your feet, but the number and size of the blisters suggest that it's probably fine, a matter of barbiturate poisoning. Currently, it's difficult to, to say whether the bruises were the result impossible. of a beating, or whether it could be some kind of internal bleeding. In general, such blisters usually appear in the case of mechanical abrasions, but due to the place of occurrence, this should be excluded. The most likely cause of such skin changes is the high concentration of barbiturates in the body. Okay. Examination with a UV lamp will dispel some doubts. Potential attackers could have left traces. A severed spinal cord, trauma to the larynx, or trachea will verify whether the hanging was the final nail in Miss Barker's coffin. To be checked in the lab later. After examining the organs, we can easily verify whether there was internal bleeding or whether the deceased was suffering from something. I'll add barbiturates to the list of necessary tests. Given the testimony of the victim's friend, I add alcohol poisoning to the list of potential causes of Miss Barker's death. A blood test will no doubt quickly verify that hypothesis. But first I'll check for external traces. For this we use the good old UV lamp. I feel like there is no fucking way. I mean, I guess. I mean, she must have family, right? How the fuck could. Like. You can't do this. You can't have, like, a star, like a child star, and then tape their autopsy and share it with, like, students. That seems. Ins I mean, I guess it makes. You would think that for, like, every person, but especially for, like, famous people. Imagine that leaks and, like, someone's, like, autopsy tape is out there. That's insane. Imagine, like, I don't know, some famous, like, Michael Jackson's autopsy tape is gonna be out there. Like, it's just messed up, man. I mean, I guess he records them all for just, uh, record keeping and not necessarily for students. Like, what the hell, man? Okay, uh, we gotta investigate. Begin a thorough external analysis with a UV lamp. I look carefully at the whole body. UV rays will reveal any traces. The area around the head is empty. Torso. Empty, without marks. What would you expect to see here? Right hand clean. The left hand seems to be fine. No marks. Legs. There's nothing here. Fingies. Oh well. Nothing to surprise us here. Now gently, we take the deceased by the hand. Take the deceased by the hand. Can we check for hand. rigor mortis? Yeah, I see. sound how exactly are we checking for this rigor mortis is just like Again, the stiffening of the, the muscles right freely. after yesterday you should know what this means since we don't have a definitive lead we will examine all the key organs one by one so i'm starting the internal I guess inspection that's I'm it like that uh, okay scalpel time I dissect the skin of the deceased. And I proceed to deflect the skin flaps. Compared with yesterday's body, the deceased has only trace amounts of adipose tissue. Now for the ribs. What do we have here? Or rather, what don't we have? There is certainly no sign of internal bleeding. Smoking again? Sometimes regarding bruising, it doesn't take much. My wife was constantly banging into furniture, walking into door frames. That's a wonder she never broke anything. Before I disembowel the deceased, I will take samples for toxicological tests to determine the alcohol content in the body. <clears throat> I just need my syringe. Just to be sure, I'm taking samples from three organs. The eyeball, the heart, and the bladder. Analysis will rule out, or confirm, alcohol poisoning as the cause of death. The sound of the syringe. All done. I'll transfer these to the centrifuge. Okay, hmm. we do that What first. was it? 15? 70? 
10, uh, it was 1570 last time. My old but I trusted centrifuge. Ideal for all the fluid tests I need to perform during an autopsy. Maybe one day I won't need my notebook. I mean, I, if it's the same as yesterday, it should be 1570. I remember. Numbers have never been my strong point. It's well, how the fuck did you remember that address then? And anniversaries. I'm lucky Alice always forgave me. My man can remember an address said once <laughs> with like 17 numbers in there. But a simple combination of two numbers? Nope. That you use every single fucking day? That's too much. Massive plot hole. Unacceptable. <laughs> Gently does it with this old thing. Handle with kid gloves. 15-7. Is that... Well, we're, this is testing for alcohol specifically. Okay, well, it's the same as last time. Cool. I'm starting the centrifuge. Let's see what results come out. Alright. Do we continue? Do we multitask? Check the lungs here. The laboratory is already open, so... Oh. Fucking hell! Uh, Ridley! Mr. Ridley! Uh, where is he? The fuses need resetting. Fuck it. Uh, I'll do it myself. The ghost uh, is hunting? I swear there was a flashlight in here. Uh, whatever. I know where the switches are anyway. Flashlight? Store room? Was over here last time. First the right, and then the left. And voila. Let's go. I love I love when games just gives you achievements all the time. <laughs> it makes me feel accomplished. There's a bunch of paint laying around. Can I get a fire? What? What the fuck? Uh there's a what ghost the, out there? Uh, oh for fuck's sake. Can't I work in peace? Do we have alcohol on the job here? That seems inappropriate. Say Jack leave. Hanman speaking. Easy, why so rude? Steve? <sighs> Sorry, man. This place is falling apart, and Ridley won't even lift a finger to help. You just can't work here. Did the centrifuge strip the fuses again? Yeah. Eventually, everything's gonna go up in oh. smoke. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It's a free cremation with your autopsy. Jesus, stop it. That shit pisses me off. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Anyway, I'm calling to ask how the autopsy's going. Soon there'll be journalists snipping around for info, so we best be ready. I'll whiz through this in a couple of hours. It doesn't look like a complicated case to me. More of a formality. The report will be available in the morning. Sounds great. Thanks. Phew! How's your head? Well, my head seems better than yours. On the way to work. Holy fuck! Jack, turn on the radio! What? What's happening? Quiet! A three-car police convoy was involved in an accident near Pete's Bay Bridge while transporting prisoners to Orleans Parish Prison. At the moment, we do not know the exact number of victims or whether any of the convicts escaped. However, the scale of the accident indicates a large number of victims, possibly even fatal ones. Police are on their way to investigate the incident and secure the area. We know that the injured prisoners are on death row. The police were to transport them to their execution, which was to take place tomorrow morning. Many of them are very dangerous criminals. We will report on the matter on an ongoing basis, so stay tuned with us. Wh what? Plus, um, Stephen. Was Red Pete one of the passengers? He was, wasn't he? What if he survived? Jack, oh. I have to go. They want me on site. What if he survived? I gotta go. Talk to you later, okay? Let's see. Fuck. Calm down, Jack. Pills. I need my pills. She was murdered. You, you heard him, Jack. A serious accident. Lots of victims. He's definitely dead. Um, we'll see. Okay, I don't just the radio there was like really loud, and then was suddenly like normal volume, and that was really loud again. It was so distracting. Uh, look out the window. Someone outside. 
I mean, someone's just knocking on the... Can I open it? I can't open the window. I don't see anyone. It's totally safe out there. Yeah, we're gonna take the medicine with the bloody gloves on. You better not, I swear to God. Oh my God. That is disgusting. Why don't you take yes. off the gloves? <sighs> oh! Nothing's going. That's to disgusting! <laughs> what the fuck? Christ. Uh, I've gotta get back to work. Yikes. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm digging this game though. This is great. Oh, jeez. What? Is that guy still there? Is this guy doing anything at all? Or does it uh, not go? Th can I not go this way? Sir. Oh, he went home, I see. Fucking useless. Whatever. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna be alcohol again? I. It looks a little. This body looks way more sussy than the last one. Any demons? Go. Fucking hell! <laughs> Tactical break. At least I know I can pursue a career as a janitor if I need to. <laughs> okay, Jesus. All right. Let's see if we were able to get anything out of this piece of crap. And miraculously, yes. I see. The same alcohol state again? spin. I'll transfer them to the chromograph in the lab. Oh, we do lab stuff now. Let's go. Place the samples onto the rack. It's lab time. All right, let's load this up. I place the test tubes in the rack. The pipette and set it to draw five now, milliliters. Now, just take five milliliters from each. I see. Boop, boop, Precisely. Boop. He keeps narrating. I think it's like story based. He's narrating his actions because he's like recording footage. Oh, whoops, what have I done? And the next. We're gonna collect it together? I guess. Can we put this away? Oh, we need to draw. I see. Now we need to do more. Can we not keep this separated? He's a professor. Yeah, he does like college. Okay, Five okay. more. Okay, I'm, I'm learning the process. <laughs> he's explaining it because I'm stupid. That's why he's explaining. We put the prepared sample into the machine. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Take the printed results from the chrom chromatograph. The results indicate that the deceased did consume alcohol shortly before her death. However, this is not an amount that could cause poisoning leading to death. Just slight inebriation. Okay. I can return to the body and continue the rest of the examination. Is that coke right there? What is this? <laughs> Why is there just a little pouch with unspecified white powder? I mean, I guess we are in some kind of scientific lab. It's probably normal. It's just sugar. It's powdered sugar. <laughs> totally, totally. The chromatograph results show that we can eliminate alcohol poisoning from our list of potential causes of death. However, okay. remember that alcohol can affect the functioning of the entire body. It disturbs the heart rhythm, accelerating its rate, and dilutes the blood which may result in more severe bleeding in the event of an accident. Also remember that alcohol affects the metabolism of drugs in the liver, which I'll now look at in more detail. Cross that off. First, I'll pick up the syringe again. I'll take samples from the liver and the heart to test the concentration of barbiturates in the body. Blurb. That's enough. I'll do the test later. I'd okay. best not try my luck with the centrifuge right now. Really? Now I remove the liver. That looks so clean. No lesions. However, it is slightly enlarged. Perhaps it's a slight inflammation or drug-induced damage. 
It may also be the result of the deposition of substances from drugs. Let's check the weight of the organ. Okay, weight, liver, skill, here we go. Can we cook in this game? It's basically in a, a cooking show. Why did we the flop it in like that? 1300 <laughs> grams. The liver is enlarged. Come on. Wait, okay. Way it squishes around. <laughs> I'll move on to a cross sectional study. Perhaps the enlargement is the result of early cancerous changes. The blade glides through smoothly. I don't feel like I'm encountering any changes with an unusual structure. Okay. No steatosis or cirrhosis. The what now? The liver is actually quite clean inside. What the fuck? The liver is basically healthy. Bars. We already know that the deceased didn't abuse alcohol. The question is what about drugs or other substances? I move on to the heart. Oh. At a glance, we can see signs of a heart attack. The deceased is definitely too young to have a heart attack due to natural causes. The liver is enlarged, not from alcohol poisoning, and the heart looks like it has collapsed. So, I guess we need to go to the centrifuge and check for these barbiturates. I see. Maybe poison? Uh, mark the damage to the heart. The last time I saw this kind of poisoning was a few years ago. I better check the data in my notebook. He was a middle-aged guy. He took his medication and forgot about it. So, he took another pill. He forgot again and took another one. All right. I see. I'm assuming same setup again. Boom. Wait, it's different? So the Greg Val oh we need to do a different thing this time. Um and then concentration of barbiturates in the body, ten minutes for seventy-five. I see. And can I move the dial? Wait, uh excuse me. It's freaking raw. Ten minutes. We close the centrifuge 75. and pray that it doesn't trip anything again. I don't think it's the centrifuge that's doing this. I think it's the demons. Uh, second toxicological test, the presence of Richards. Can we not do it? It looks like our luck is in. Oh. Excuse me, that was 10 minutes? I guess to speed it up because they didn't want us to wait for that long. That would have been very annoying. Appreciate it. We can take the samples to the lab now. Ten, fastest 10 minutes of all time. I wonder how she was able to get hold of these drugs. Ah, uh, when you're rich. It's always demons. This is way okay. more detailed than torture assistance. I mean, obviously, because you need to actually figure out what killed people. You're actually learning something here. I wonder how, is there- Six milliliters each. I would love to hear in the comments how, like, <laughs> if, if you're like, yep, this is what my day looks like every time. There's gotta be some people watching that do this for a living, right? Like the, yeah, okay, we gotta do six milliliters this time. Boom, boom. Yeah, I, th I think it's just like slowly ramping up. Right now we're going through the story and then eventually it's gonna be way more jump scare heavy. Right now, right now we are not crazy yet, or at least not too crazy. What the fuck? There we go. So we are, I guess we are just stacking this on top of it. This is why we're sitting into 12 now because we already have six. So now we want to pull 12. So we pull six from, from both. It's a little weird, though. Slurp. Is it collect the sample? Okay. Well, let's see how much of it we find. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is, I mean, definitely not, doesn't make me want to be mm. someone who does Nothing this for surprising. a living. Significant amounts of phenobarbital metabolites of hepatic origin. <sighs> Can you explain that in normal Looks people like terms? Looks like i have to check the contents of the deceased stomach. Okay, return to the autopsy. Gonna be drugs or maybe poison. I mean, it looks like something didn't go very right The here. tests show that the collected blood contained enough barbiturates to cause cardiopulmonary collapse. The question now is whether it was an accident or a deliberate act. 
I'm proceeding to examine the stomach. Before extraction, I ligate the entire organ to prevent its contents from spilling out. Okay. Okay, I'm now cutting out the organ, which will move to the board for dissection. So the stomach. Right. Can we also not inspect the... What is that thing? There's something there? Looks like there's a carrot. <laughs> Am I stupid as fuck? Is that just a carrot? <laughs> Why is there a, a carrot in there? It's a pancreas. <laughs> Normally, the stomach and intestines are full of surprises. Oh god. Oops. <laughs> That's a very unusual carrot. I love that we still haven't cleaned this fucking knife from yesterday. But not this time. Oh, we see remnants okay. of undigested food and a dense mass of pills. You don't take this many drugs by accident. I see. Length and width normal. No obvious pathological changes. Undigested drugs found in the stomach of the deceased. The direct cause of death was probably an overdose. I'll check the rest of the organs, and then the nervous system. We'll see how significant the marks on the neck are for the whole case. What the hell? Thank you for the many subs, Gamer Nature. Thank you. Uh, inspect the lungs. Okay, the lungs, lungs are, are definitely... No lesions. The victim was probably a smoker, yes. but was unlikely to be in any serious danger. That was very black lungs. The deceased's trachea is normal. Complete patency. No food or fluid. The deceased's intestine is normal. No clear pathological changes. Abdominal cavity checked off. We can check the brain. Bra oh god. Here we go. Brain examination. <laughs> it's our favorite part. I make a cut to open the lid of the victim's skull and remove the brain. You cut off the hair instantly? Brain is normal. No obvious lesions. All right. I need to dissect it on a board. There was a brain. Successfully found. Using a knife, I carefully cut through the brain tissue. I peek inside a bit, and... Hmm. I don't think there's anything worth no As expected, oh. the deceased's brain is in excellent condition. No discoloration or changes due to hypoxia. There is still the matter of the marks on the neck. They look superficial, but who knows? Maybe the spinal cord has been severed. I need goggles and a saber saw. I think the goggles were in the desk drawer. Oh, they're out there. Alice. The goggles remind him of Alex? <clears throat> Alice? Um, saw. I need saw. Fuck. I don't see it here. Oh. Uh, I know. I probably left it in the basement after its last cleaning. Some of my previous cases. A reminder of more prosperous times. I see. Go ask Ridley. Wait, Ridley was still there? We're in the basement. Uh-oh. We're going basement time. <laughs> if this type of game, basement's never good. Wait, so the guy is still there? Mr. Ridley. Wait, you're back I now. I need a key to the basement. Where were you? So were you on the toilet room. the whole time? Why is the key lying at the... Nah, never mind. Thank you. Hey, hey man. Did you hear about the convoy? Well, maybe you'll get a chance to relive your glory days and catch Red Beat again, huh? <laughs> Let's hope there won't be a need for this. that. In the social room? Social room and an autopsy must be a really fun place to hang out. Is this not the social room? there another social room? The fuck is this? Oh, it's just a coffin. I see. <laughs> well, Dracula was hanging out over there. If only he could put that much enthusiasm into his work. Room. I get the feeling that searching through this rubbish is more pathogenic than working with corpses. Great place to be. Oh, there seems to be quite a few people working here. I guess we have the night shift. Uh, please, may this be the last trip. I love how this person puts on gloves so that he doesn't contaminate anything, and then he refuses to take them off, walks around everywhere, touch every door handle. <laughs> like, sir, this is not how this works. 
Head to the basement and grab the spine saw. Where is basement? I'm assuming it's not from here. Is there a door called basement here? This is my office. It's the only office here. I guess basement is going to be through here. Yeah, and takes just pills with the same gloves. Absolutely disgusting. Security room. Fuck. Why did the prison convoy have to get into an accident? Uh, Jack, take a deep breath. Deep, pleasantly cool breath. You're nearly finished with the autopsy. Then you can go home and rest. Cannot see anything there. I w I'm assuming it's going to be a similar type of... Uh basement as mortuary assistant classic side of the house little hatch basement maybe we got a freaking sh yeah there you go <laughs> that's what i'm talking about what is this shack this is why are more why are these type of buildings i guess it's just in these let me calm the fuck down i guess in these types of games it makes sense because then i don't have to model the surrounding area why is this in the middle of a forest I mean, I guess. I guess you don't want this next door. That makes sense, but still. I'll take the saw. I'm hearing weird sounds. I don't know what that was. Is this a horror game? Yes, fair. Fuck! It's jammed! Doesn't anyone do maintenance around here? Damn hatch. Damn red Pete. You're gonna be blocking yourself. Again, if only... I think the goggles were in the desk drawer. <sighs> what? Why did you talk about that? Why did you talk about the goggles? What's going on? <laughs> is, is he overlapping different dialogues? Uh, head to the basement. I'm, I'm here. Spine saw. Someone eating down here? Someone been living here? Looks weird. Where's the spine saw? Spine saw. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> Did the eyes move? It would be easier if I put things away properly. Yeah, exactly. You just throw it down in the basement. Can we not close this up? Someone's gonna be down there. Red Pete is gonna <sighs> hang out Damn down there. lectures and their fucking props. Men murder old lady. Something, something, the vehicle burned with... Oh, God. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, we leave both doors open, even though we only opened one of them. How did that work out? Anyway. <laughs> Just come walking in with this giant saw. And like clockwork, he's already sleeping. Hello there. He does look kind of tiny. He's a little guy. <sighs> you got this game is full of short kings. Oh boy. He's EP. <clears throat> Sorry for the short interruption. I hope you all took the opportunity to grab some coffee. You know you can now just that edit I have that everything out. I need, I'll move on to revealing the spinal cord. <laughs> Everyone's sitting there in the classroom just What? Oh Jesus. Yeah, thank you for the gifts. Of, thank you. Holy. Hey. What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> oh, spine hey, is dude. Removed. I can see that the spinal cord was not severed. This shows that apart from the marks around the neck, hanging didn't negatively affect the condition of the deceased. Ladies and gentlemen, almost over. Now. To sum up and tidy away the body, the direct cause of Samantha Barker's death was a heart attack resulting from an overdose of barbiturates. Traces found on the body suggest that the overdose was a deliberate act, completely a empty yeah. attempt to hang herself. The autopsy found no evidence or genetic materials indicating that death could have been the result of an attack. Third party involvement must be excluded. Okay. I see. Can we do this? Autograph, and we can start sewing. In the 1950s and 1960s, the use of barbiturates for suicide was actually quite common. I think it was most talked about after the death of Marilyn Monroe. 
not smiley face today. Not after ripping out the fucking spinal cord. Close the body. There's literally nothing. Shouldn't you add like some kind of stuffing? This is freaking crazy. At home, it was a help and comfort on death row. A farewell to the convicts. Well, we're done for today. Thank you for your attention. Alrighty then. How is there still... I guess the ribbon then are on the skin. Ah, <sighs> tiring day. I can feel those hunger pains coming on. I guess I'll have to pick something up along the way. Gloves in the trash, leave the apron for cleaning. Uh, now I can go. Ah, camera. I didn't turn it off. I'm trying to... Can I not turn off the camera? It still looks like it's filming. It's beeping. I guess we're not turning it off. Head to the car in the parking lot. We're just leaving it. <laughs> Open parentheses, sigh. Oh, closing parentheses, yeah. I mean, it's uh, uh, closed caption, so... A nightcap will do me good. So you know what they're saying and how they're saying it. Good night, Mr. Ridley. The police will pick up the body and accompanying documentation in the morning. Mm-hmm. Sure. Gonna be something weird in that in a moment. I guess there are actually two things in this world you can be certain of. Death and Ridley's reluctant attitude. Do we need Ridley? Ridley All right. does not give Maybe a shit. Things. We still Probably have our gloves on! <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you were supposed to throw him in the trash. <laughs> so cold. I guess I should have brought my jacket to work. <laughs> this block can be quite intimidating when it's so quiet. Almost there. Love the, uh, the vibe. Stephen didn't want to go out for a drink tonight, so I'll drink my whiskey in the company of my TV. Ah, shit. I forgot the muffin. muffin. No! Well, Ridley will have a nice treat for the night. I'm sure he'll be his happy, thankful self tomorrow. No muffin! Is this the entrance? What the fuck happened to this door? This side alleyway? Am I supposed to go through here? I don't know if I'm supposed to go through I think I just walk through this for no reason. Yeah, I can't go here. I'm just walking through a creepy alleyway. I wonder, I'm assuming you could have actually eaten the muffin. I walked past the door. Yeah, I'm stupid. Here we go. That would have, I would have gotten an achievement for eating the muffin. Feels bad, man. I failed. Are we going to get jump scared along the way? Or are we just chilling? Any point. The silence of the absent. Full moon. Look and believe in the spirit. More red. <laughs> this place is getting worse and worse. Someone's just letting the kids draw on the wall. Those are some tall ass. I guess they have a stand. I guess they could stand on that, but still, they reach for pretty freaking high. That thing. Based on the mo movie, based on Brody. Oh, it's, it's not related to Steven. We live in a dump. Yeah, this place is an absolute mess. But it's my mess. Oh, I don't see the apartment. What? What? What, what the fuck? Uh oh, it's red peat. But, but I, I, I locked it. I, I'm sure you of definitely it. Definitely did not lock it. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, next chapter time. Chapter two, I see. Okay, Red Pete, I think, uh, might be after us. So we locked him up. Did we do the, the autopsy on our own this? wife I don't have anything to valuable. figure out who killed her or something? That seems like money. You would they must not have stolen the that. money. What are those sounds? Fuck! Money? No, the Great. money. Great. That's all I need. I buy my money. Ooh, what if it was Red Pete? Can I read the notes? These were from Thanksgiving. Stephen invited me. Oh, I, I was going to give them to his mother. But How did I pick that up? I That's in Alice. the bottom drawer. That was the first time I saw her. Okay, what happened? Quite Where? exclamation mark, question mark. I need my pills. I, I can't get my thoughts together. Why would you throw the whole bookshelf on the ground? Like, what the fuck, dude? 
Okay, at least we took off the gloves this time. Okay. The <sighs> ring is gone too. I'm gonna have to report this to the police. Christ. Why did the neighbors not report Bro, that's anything? Fucked up. I'm calling Steven. They stole the ring as well. Okay. Calling Steven. Why don't we call the police first? Uh, Steven? Now, Jack, I told you I'm going for a drink with you for another night in a row. That's not why I'm ringing. Although I could do with one. Someone broke into my apartment. What? Did anyone say anything? Have you called the police yet? No, I don't think so. Anyway, no one contacted me. As for the police, uh, I'm calling right now, officer. <sighs> All right. Do you want me to head around? Look for any trace evidence? Oh, Steve, I, um, Still uh, I don't know. N no, I guess not. Uh, honestly, I don't have the strength to deal with it right now. I just want to lie down. Are you sure? Because it's no trouble at all. I think so. Uh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to calm down a bit. I don't know. Uh, he does love size. Stupid <laughs> joke. Only money was stolen. Money? From Alice's box? Oh, fuck. Listen, I can come over. I have the key. I'll drop by, do what I need to do, and you go get some sleep. No, don't trouble yourself. Lately, I've been just so tired and distracted. I don't know. Maybe I forgot to close the apartment door on my way to work. If anything else is missing, I'll let you know and call the police. All right. Just Steve make sure says? you close it tonight. If you see anything weird tomorrow, let me know. Whoever did this may be watching you. I don't think anyone is dumb enough to come back. <sighs> You're probably right. Take care, Jack. If you need anything, call me. I promise I will. Thanks, Stephen. Sorry to bother you again. I've just been all over the place lately. It's not a problem. Good night, Jack. Good night. You're not gonna, like, I feel like this is not the proper channel. Push it off. Where's the remote? What? Uh, I guess someone's uh, fucking with me. I guess I should clean this shit up. Where to start? There you go. Like a freaking magic? I still don't understand why Alice liked this painting so much. Shit. The glass in this thing needs to be replaced. There's no glass on the ground, though, strangely enough. Jack, why? Oh, I think I'm just tired. I'm glad this didn't break. I'm fixing all the anomalies. To be honest, I could leave it like this. I mean, you don't really even notice the difference because you do live like an animal. Maybe I could barricade the door with this. I should pack this thing away. I have no interest in DIY. Yeah, are we not gonna move the couch? Is that just how it was? Now I'm sure I won't get caught up in these papers. Alice's family should really have some of these. That's enough for now. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm exhausted. I'll get the rest in the morning. Ugh, what a mess. Now if only I could blame this Did on they the open burglars. the fridge? Are we not gonna close the fridge? Mister, I'll clean the rest in the morning. I see a Mr. Clean reference. I, oh, that's yeah. not a, <laughs> I that's take my like pills. an American thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, take your pills in the bathroom. Did you ensure to eat the spaghetti? Not my spaghetti. I feel like it takes me forever to finish these things. What if uh, we did it to ourselves or enough. something? Uh, okay, we finished the rest. Clean. I need to quickly change and finish getting ready. Uh, so many pizza boxes. Tell me you're a streamer without telling me. I mean, I guess you're not. Anyway, uh, change clothes. I'm gonna be late for work again. It's not even late though. Like you have to. I guess you have a long commute. Uh, got my keys. Got my files. Check. Cause, I mean, the sun looks like it's going on. Stop go. sighing, sir. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Remember hey, he's pretty good at sighing, Jack. though, I gotta say. That's like... I'll ask the neighbors tomorrow if they saw anything suspicious. Because that, that's one of those things, whenever there's like a... 
Oh, yawn. It's new. Whenever I there's a sigh and like a voice note that I have to read, I always like, how do I sigh on command? That's weird. It's weird to just randomly start sighing, but this guy is a professional. Professional sire. It looks like it's this gotta be like 6 p.m. or I mean 6, 7, depends on the time of year, I guess. Maybe a bit optimistic. I'd better grab a coffee on the way. <clears throat> Here we go. We're back, baby. So uh, how I'm exhausted. At least it's quiet here. So your life exists like consists of going to work, going to sleep, and then going back to work, and then you get to work and you're I mean I guess that's what life is. <laughs> but like is you didn't do anything besides sleeping. How long do you work? I wonder who Stephen brought in today. Like you slept Good morning, Mr. Ridley. The entire oh, day. He's not here yet? No. I'll do without him. Because he came back I home he... in like the morning. Oh, come and then he slept the entire day. It was day too late to even wheel the gurney to the autopsy room. Push the trolley. This thing? Oh boy, here we go. We just don't call it. Makes sense why he sighs. What in the fuck? Almost there. Now is the body going to be Ridley? The body needs to be moved. No way. Uh, where's Ridley when you need him? This is a nightmare. This got to be a nightmare. All right. right. I just need some gloves and my apron. Then I can get to work. I mean, it's the short, short king for sure. That would be a cool way to do a nightmare. And protective gloves. Yeah, how about you I'm get a few more pairs? I'm going to need my for this. They always do that. Do they always do that IRL too? Are there any doctors? Are you? Is it like required for you to go splink with the <laughs> with the gloves? Because you always see that in movies. So it's a recorder. I'm assuming we get it from the. I don't see it here anymore. I guess we get it from the storage. <laughs> Usually there are two pairs. That's not how it works. I feel like that's you required to do that. Wait, no camera? Whoops, was it there? Am I blind? Can we We got We got ketchup ketchup? Tom's premium tomato ketchup? This who the fuck? This is disgusting. It was right there, I'm blind. Can we eat our muffin? Yeah, wait a minute. Is the muffin still here? God damn it, Ridley, you eat my muffin! You piece of shit! You stole my muffin! You dickhead! Uh... Wait, is it on my desk or on this desk? Stole it. Oh, here it is. There's the voice recorder, I'm dumb. Autopsy dated November 22nd, 1991. 7.32 p.m. Led by Dr. Jack Hanman. I begin by verifying the identity of the Jane Doe. We're gonna zip it. Look through the information, of course. It's most likely Harper Lloyd, age 35. Found in a well-owned house by her neighbors, Leonard and Dorothy Chelsea. Reported missing for a week. Firefighters found the body after the Chelsea family began complaining that their tap water tasted strange. And at uh. one point, had begun to smell and turn a dark color. Yikes. It is also known that the deceased was diagnosed with affective bipolar disorder. Harper was placed on drug therapy, which she dropped out of fairly regularly. During her treatment, she was under the care of her common law partner, Richard Benson, a professional truck driver. The last person who had contact with the deceased was her partner. Harper's last message read as follows. I'm gonna take a shit in their stupid well. Then we'll see who has the last laugh. Did he fall in the nice well one. while he was taking a shit? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Police records also show that Mrs. Lloyd was in constant conflict with her neighbors. 
The constant parties and ultimate karma. Living in the area nearly impossible. I mean, I guess it still worked out in the end. Wasn't around. I guess he still pranked them. It seems that her disappearance would have benefited many in the community. Let's see if anyone had a hand in it. I proceed to open the bag and check the state of decomposition of the corpse. The better do it quickly. Oh God. Okay, that could have been worse. I carefully removed the victim's clothes so as not to damage the skin. The deceased one shoe is missing. I'm going to need the camera to document all possible suspicious marks. Definitely the first thing that stands out is the very advanced post-mortem gigantism, including clearly visible post-mortem lividity. I kept the photo camera from the desk, it's okay. <laughs> Missing eyeball? I need to take the shot. Don't look! Fuck. Don't the look. skin of the deceased appears very delicate, smooth, and relaxed from being in the water for a long time. The whole body is extremely pale. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> Post-mortem markings are seen on the underside of the body. That is, on the back, thighs, and calves of the deceased. Liver mortis are formed as a result of putrefaction of blood in the veins. Missing eyeball. There are bruises and hemorrhages on the neck. These usually occur due to increased inhalation when fighting to breathe underwater. There are some obvious scratches on the skin. Oh, it is censored on there. Never mind. It's just because it's zoomed out. It's it, it's not as censored. You're right. I saw people say that in chat. The skin on the hands can be easily separated from the body. The separation takes the form of a glove. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Be The so-called washerwoman's skin on the feet. Right, the sir. deceased had indeed been in the water for a long time. There's another one? We got the hands, we got the face. What are we missing? There is more hands. Oh here. I see more on the it's side. It's likely that the deceased was lying on her back when she was fished out. I see. So, after the preliminary exam, it's time to take a closer look at this. In photos, of course. Face! General! Chest! Hand! Feet! Something! Thigh! Feet! <laughs> Underscore this time! The day's date, the deceased was clothed. Rigor mortis does not need to be checked. Based on the state of decay, you can be sure it has subsided. Hmm. Where to start? Let's see. Oh boy. Magnifying glass time. We see thick white foam in the mouth of the deceased, resulting from pulmonary edema. Foam is a characteristic in deaths due to drowning. We're not gonna say anything about the eyeball missing? The spots have a purplish blue red hue, which is a typical sign of the death of the organism. You have to eating ice cream? You're fucked up! Yeah, pretty typical. There are obvious scratches on the skin, especially on the back and hands. These could be defensive wounds, evidence of some sort of altercation prior to death. Me being right now, don't eat while watching this. <laughs> no obvious so signs of struggle. <laughs> the skin on the hands would have easily peeled away from the flesh. Some of the fingers have already lost their nails. Due to the fact that the deceased was wearing shoes all oh, the time, geez. her feet are in better condition than her hands. Nevertheless, we can still notice a clear, wavy skin and the so called washerwoman's skin texture. Okay. That's probably enough to indicate a direction for further examination. I'd better note that down in the records.
Marks found on the neck and foaming at the mouth are typical signs of drowning people. Those abrasions appear relatively fresh. No healing or scarring is visible. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual about this liver mortis. Hands heavily wrinkled from submersion in water, typical washerwoman's skin. Diffuse spots are caused by blood rotting in the veins. Considering the deceased's penchant for drinking alcohol, it could have been a mere accident. In this case, the question is, was drowning an accident or of suicidal intent? Maybe it's just an abrasion, or maybe the result of a fight and being pushed into a well? Their distribution suggests that the victim was probably lying on her back when fished out of the water. Fortunately, the skin on the hands didn't fall off. Otherwise, I'd have trouble identifying the deceased. Liver mortis of a different color could indicate poisoning with carbon monoxide, cyanides, or nitrates. And what a simple trip, loss of balance, and as a result, you end up in a deep hole with no way out. Well, after all, several people had a motive to kill her. That's all for now. Before I begin the dissection, I'll make sure the suggested identity is correct. I'm going to conduct a dactyloscopic examination. If in fact the deceased is in the police database, I will find her. All right. The suitcase with the fingerprint equipment should be around here somewhere. Let's go. Fingerprint time. We're checking for fingies, guys. Uh, suitcase. Oh, here it is. With decomposing bodies, the tissue of the pads of the fingers tends to shrink. To remove these shrinkages, a mixture of glycerin or air is used. If the body of the deceased is well preserved, fingerprinting is similar to that of a living person. The fingerprint sheet should always be checked. Slipping fingers, too much or too little ink, or inaccurate hand position can make fingerprints illegible. Okay, okay. I think I have everything. I'll move on to the actual examination. Can we do this? Fingerprint? Glycerin is injected successively between the nail and the skin of each finger. The substance then enters the fingertip, removing shrinkage and wrinkles. How do I aim? Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. What the hell? That's very effective. Is that actually? I mean, I'm assuming this is how that works. How do I zoom? There. Now wow. I take a brush. Only when the skin is taut and elastic can you use ink. Oh, there we go. I'm brushing. The entire hand, I see. We're just gonna smack the hand on there. Is this not good enough? I think it's enough. Okay. I'm getting fingerprint samples. In the case of drowning victims, you have to be extremely careful. The skin may fall off the hand like a glove when you take the print. The that skin of the deceased gentle. is extremely delicate, but it worked. Okay. I'll use the fax machine to add the print into the system. Can we not see it? I guess it didn't want Green to show button, that. Oh, there we go. And... Sent. Boop. Fax machine, baby. I'm too young to actually have ever used the fax machine. Also, What's we got four missed problems? calls, by the way. I'll run the prints against the police database on the computer. It shouldn't take long. Uh, okay. Computer? Oh, baby. Great. New data. The data is there. Click upload. <laughs> I love this. Now, go through the database and okay. find the matching print. It's literally it's this one right here. Is it this one? Fun, uh, Looks like this one. Hmm. One more. Analyze I'm button. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. And... We have a result. I'm cracked. Everyone has a story to tell, even if it's just a police record. So, as predicted, Harper the deceased turned out to be Harper Lloyd. That went smoothly. I'll print this out and attach it to the medical records. Disorderly conduct, disorderly conduct, disorderly conduct. 
shoplift thing. Great. Now we can oh. go back to my inspection. Let's go. That's cool. So they're they're like constantly going further and further with what I'm we can do the in name the process. Of the deceased. I can finally get to the practical now part. We can do I'll start the through. internal Genetic examination Florida. by taking fluid from the victim's brain. A needle inserted through the nose will do the trick. Okay. If the victim was alive when she fell into the well, she must have swallowed water fighting for her life. And then diatoms, characteristics of pooled water like a well, got into the body. In the meantime, I'll check the sample under the microscope. I'm sure that these algae traces will be found in the samples taken from the well where police found the body. Oh, these, the, the classic micro, I mean, these are a little bit more fancy, but I remember in biology class, they would like bring out the, <laughs> the cart with all the microscopes on there. Now I need to adjust the knobs properly and place the diatom. What am I doing? Brightness? Okay, I cannot see anything. Hmm. Great. What, you were about to start talking, yeah, how about- It's not a dirty lens, I'm afraid. Gonna zoom even more. Oh, there we go. Focus. That, what am I even- Can I move this around? Oh, I can't move it around. Oops. <laughs> there. What am I looking- Am I- This is not what I'm looking mm, for? Great. This way, I'll see if I'm dealing with a large concentration of these algae. Huh? Go zoom. It's like opposite controls, by the way. It's annoying as hell. Okay, there we go. I found it. Then brightness. Mega brightness. Now I need to zoom all the way out to know if there's anything. I can't see anything. Oh, I'm zoomed out. I can also not move it while I'm zoomed out. What is this? That looks like... What was that? As expected, we find the aforementioned algae in okay. the solution. <laughs> Finally. Their upper part, epitheca, which overlaps the lower, hypotheca, is clearly visible. That's what I was supposed to find. I see. Brain samples <laughs> taken indicate that the deceased was certainly alive when she fell into the water and was possibly conscious. Okay. Oh, I see. If there's like, uh, okay, okay. She she inhaled a bunch of water. Otherwise, if she wouldn't, if she would have already been dead when she got in the water, she wouldn't have inhaled a bunch of water. Um, return to the autopsy. Whoops. We're doing doing nothing in the lab just yet. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Um. Hello? <laughs> a mortuary assistant? The body Since is alive? Since there are diatoms in the brain, it means that many more of them must have entered the body. Studies of the rest of the organs will most likely confirm this hypothesis. I move on to an examination of the abdominal cavity. I begin by dissecting the skin of the deceased. I must be extra careful because the skin of the deceased is very stretched. I wouldn't want an explosion here. You can immediately see a very large swelling of the organs. In addition, all internal organs are very congested. I proceed to remove the rib cage. It's easy to see that the ribs have been imprinted in the lungs. So, I'm going to start by drawing blood from the lungs for testing for diatoms. If diatoms were only present in the lungs, this would mean that the victim was placed in the well after death and the perpetrator wanted to get rid of the corpse in this way. Now, I remove the lungs and proceed to their examination. Taking the lungs in my hand, I feel that the tissues have lost their elasticity, which is the result of water emphysema. In addition, there is significant swelling of the organs, and as a result, we have a nice imprint of the ribs. Nice. The emphysema itself, it's clear how far it's progressed, which is characteristic of drowning. Corpses found in water are worth examining with a tomograph. This allows us to significantly expand the classical examination in the field of forensic medicine. However, I can't count on such luxuries, so I must reach for a more archaic technology. A bucket and water. Okay, a bucket? Wait, okay. 
Don't we have a bucket right here? I mean, I guess that's just a random bucket. Maybe we need a special bucket. Gotta find... There's a person... Excuse me. Who... Who... Has anyone been here? I hope no one dipped a mop in it. It's best to go to the lab for this. Historically, the lung float test is used to detect infanticide. Okay, I think he needs more pills. Also, he just like overlapped his stressful but just chill voice. So it's a little confusing. Oh, to the lab sink. Sorry, I'm, conf I'm confused myself. Anyone outside? Any sneakers? The water Sneaky should be boys? at room temperature. That's enough. The desk for this. That is I have to very place the fast lungs water. in a container of water. This checks if there is air in the lungs. And speaking of lungs, everything is ready to bring them here. <clears throat> of course, such a study isn't without flaws. Air may have entered a newborn's airways during resuscitation attempts. Gases released during decomposition could also give a false result. In this case, however, it's about something else. Namely, Woo! the amount of fluid Anti gravity in the lungs! lungs. <laughs> why, why is it just sticking to the thing? <laughs> Woo! Boink. The desk for blue. this, I have to place the lungs in a container of water and wait to see if they fall or if they will float on the surface. Oh boy. It's cool how they have so many different, like it is... It's called autopsy simulator for a reason. You're doing like every night you're doing some different parts of what you would do probably in an autopsy. I mean, I assume this is scientifically accurate. They saying just as I assumed, the lungs collapsed easily. Okay. So does that mean she was alive, right? When she got in the water, because that means her lungs were full of water instead of like her lungs being full of air. Fluid could have entered the lungs during panic attempts to catch breath in her water, but it could also yeah. be the result of bacterial infections or cancer. So further investigation is needed. We're gonna chop chop. I move on to dissecting the lungs of the deceased. Oh boy. You can hear the distinct, very unpleasant crackling of the tissues being cut through. I can't the hear anything. The parenchyma is remarkably pale, although small hemorrhagic fossa and petechia are present on the surface. <sighs> All right. Now, I will check the collected fluid under a microscope. If we find 20 diatoms on the slide, it can be considered drowning, and our result is not false positive due to possible contaminations. Let's see, oh although I expect we'll find them easily. There. Doom. That is a ton? That's what I'm looking for, right? Focus. There's many. That's not what you want? Minus? Use Microsoft to verify the presence of... It's just, this is not what we're looking for. We're not... It says here. Good for you. This is like... Puts a reticle on the screen when I'm here. Zoom in. I'm at 100 times zoom. I'm max zoomed. Am I stupid? Is not what I'm supposed to do? Uh, oh, there we go. Expected. I had to make it brighter. In solution, the diatoms are clearly visible. There are smaller and larger clusters of them. There will definitely be more than 20 of them. Okay. I see. <laughs> uh, I'll make a note of all this. 
Okay, this is cool. I like how they, how I am actually understanding what's going on here. Like he's explaining it properly for stupid people like me. So far, this case looks pretty standard. It's clear from the beginning that it's drowning. Uh, well, the procedure requires me to check everything anyway. So I move on to checking the other organs. I ligate the heart and then remove it for inspection. Strongly developed putrefactic hemolysis of the organ can be seen at first glance. Apart from that, no signs of a heart attack or other heart disease. They must have had, like, uh, consultants that were doctors or, like, autopsy. I don't know. What, what do you call someone who does an autopsy? We're gonna cut it. I move on to the next organ. This okay. time, it's the liver. I remove the organ and move on to the analysis. Extremely bloated. It's immediately apparent that the deceased didn't care for herself. Like most organs, Mortician. her liver is oh. enlarged and severely congested. What is a so wait? What is it then? Is it a mor mortician? Is someone who does it who works in a mortuary, right? <laughs> I feel like that's a different thing. Pathologist, pathologist assistants. Morti mortician is what you are in like a mort in mortuary system. This is different. This is an autopsy. I guess they are similar in some way. The beginnings of cirrhosis are visible in some areas. Autopsy technician. I transfer the organ to a board and proceed to dissect. Oh boy. Is there a carrot? We gotta make sure there's a carrot. There's no carrot! They're missing a carrot? Where's the carrot? What the fuck? That's very important for the autopsy. The cross section clearly shows dilated veins and many small hemorrhagic foci. I must admit that this is quite a feat, considering the rather young age of the deceased. <laughs> like impressive how much you fucked up your liver. <laughs> Harper enjoyed drinking so much that she might not have lasted a few more years. I move on to the stomach. I take a sample of the fluid for testing. Okay. Sample. Slurp, slurp. It looks very turbid. I'll see what happens after spinning, but that's in a moment. Now, I carefully ligate the organ, then cut it off. It's enlarged, probably full of putrid gases. That's I transfer it to the board and carefully open it, checking the contents. Slice, slice. One thing you'd never get used to is how much this desk smells. Yeah, I'm glad that we don't have 40 games yet. <laughs> this, this would be the worst game to play of all time. Okay, the stomach is full of fluid and unidentified organic matter, which is probably leftover food. So let's check the diatoms. Uh, again. But in a centrifuge for a change. <sighs> the problem with examining drowned my old but trusted centrifuge. Oh. Ideal for all the fluid tests I need to perform. Sorry, I, inter autopsy. I was trying to interact with this. I interrupted you. Retrieve the notebook from the office. Why do you keep moving your notebook? I guess you are working in the office. <laughs> I just interrupted. He was going to say that we should grab the notebook, I think. But then I was like, fuck you. Is this guy at work now? Are you finally working, you lazy bastard? Oh, there you are. Hello, sir. You sleeping though? You literally don't do anything. <laughs> You're just sitting there, either reading the newspaper or just sleeping all day. Well, I guess all night. Not that Cramp, much, sir. Heart attack, drugs, homicide, or some accident. Such an analysis requires viewing from different angles and a careful interpretation of the collected data, including those from the field. That's why it's so important to collect as many samples as possible. <sighs> Unfortunately. Okay, this is one last little sample. Now, set. Diatomes? What are we doing? Uh, for diatomes, yes. 35 minutes, 25%. Okay, 35 minutes, 25%. <sighs> if Dorothy were here today, I'd have her do it. I prefer working closer to people. Dorothy? Who's Dorothy? I like the samples from... Oh, that's 35 minutes just passed. I appreciate it. Done. 
I'll run it directly into the chromatograph and run it against the data from the police. I'm certain the analysis will show similarities between the fluid and water in Chelsea's well. Quick 35 minutes. We just sat there doing absolutely nothing, staring into space. Uh, let me think. Three millimeters should be fine. Dude, I'm insane. I'm a speedrunner. I've become an official... I don't think I should be... Yeah, there you go. Is this not good enough? I have to put it deeper? I have to put it all... Okay, I feel like you okay. should just put it in the tip now it's the chromatograph's turn. Just a tip. I have to print the results. What's it gonna be? Hmm. Yes. The water sample matches the one provided by the police. Okay. Uh, well, the results are quite clear. <sighs> I was hoping it would be a more interesting case. So just fell in? This is, mm, yes, this is water. <laughs> is that what he just did? Uh, more diatoms. Analysis indicates the same origin. Blah, blah, blah. There's little left to do. I'm going to check the airway patency of the deceased. I cut out the trachea and examine it from all sides. Okay. Interesting. Looks like there's something stuck in the trachea. I'm moving to the board for further oh. inspection. Wait, you can actually see that? It's kind of cool. What's it gonna be? I don't think I'm supposed to- yeah, they, I'm supposed to be on this one. I dissect the trachea and open the organ. For speed runner. Inside, I find a wedding ring. Um, this is interesting. Is that Let our me ring? Look at it. Is this- Based on the size, I can say that it's a woman's wedding ring. Quite standard from the outside. There's an engraving inside. Where's the... I mean, it's a date. What the fuck? But this is my ring. Alice's ring. Um, but, but how did it... How did it... But this should be at home. I have it. I have... I, at home. It's... I... Red P? I, I have to check this out. Where are my meds? Huh? Jesus Christ! Hope these all make it go away. What the fuck is I, going on? I have to check the apartment. It can't be. The fuck was that scream? No one's here. Yeah, we still have the gloves on. I don't think that was that important this time, though. Okay, go to your car and return home immediately. Just, I mean, I guess. I mean, makes sense. This is, it seems pretty important. I mean, not gonna, not gonna say anything to you. Miss, Mr. Ridley. <laughs> I'm just leaving. Goodbye. Uh, was it all a dream? What's going on here? Or is Red Pete, like, trying to fuck with us? For sure. I did not expect... I thought this was gonna be mostly just, like, over and over autopsies. But I'm glad it's like more of a story mode. I know there's also a mode afterwards, I think, where you can do just focusing on the autopsies if you want, but this is way more story oriented, which is fun. This. This can't be real. Yeah, we still have the glove where on, don't it? worry. Where is it? Where? Is it? She got it for her first day of Oops. work. And she broke it the same day. I thought that she they said still it was for luck. That's so voice line says if they're calm. Fuck. <laughs> it's like, oh, I went from breathing heavily to being all chill this and is stuff. Sick. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Come on, Steven. Pick up the fucking phone. I took the ring! What? What? What ring? What are you talking Didn't about? I took this the last wedding thing? ring! Alice's wedding ring! W one sec. You mean burglary? You said nothing was missing. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I know! I know that! 
I don't know. I, I was jittery. Maybe I didn't. Maybe but I didn't we knew notice. That was I don't know, but <laughs> that, that's not the worst of it. Calm down, Jack. Breathe. What happened? I found it in the trachea of the deceased I was working on. Do you understand? I pulled it out of a dead woman's trachea. What? I don't. I don't know what's going on. It's all gone. Huh? I think Red Pete wants revenge. He's playing with me. Huh? I knew it. I knew it from the beginning. This is going to happen. I didn't make it up. Jack, listen to me. Try to calm down. Don't leave the apartment. I'll be with you right away. Okay? Huh? I'm on my way. What sane person would do something like that? How? And when? When the fuck? Fucking Ridley lets in whoever he likes as usual. What he's what he's saying, Steve. S Steven, don't leave me, man. Come on. Fuck. Oh God. What Wait. Now? Huh? Okay. What is going on? Calm we are mega down. insane. Just calm down. I need. I need a drink. Well, we saw the ring was missing. Ring was missing yesterday. Did, did the character not... I know the character was looking for the money. He didn't say to Steven that the money was missing? I don't know. Because the money was clearly missing. But we already noticed the... The missing ring as well. I, I guess it was supposed to be more of a surprise than it was for us. Because we already paid attention to it. The character didn't say anything, I see. I was confused as to why he was... He was so confused. Sit at your desk and pour yourself a drink. Yeah, great! <laughs> Let's fix this with alcohol. That's totally how, how you do this. Uh, what's going on? Oh boy. I don't think you should be drinking right now. Are you gonna end up like one of those bodies you've been dissecting? <sighs> just, 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 just one sip more. Yep. Okay, dude. <laughs> He's going ham. A cup of air. Jesus. <sighs> oh, there's a picture there. <sighs> just, 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 just You're making me dizzy, sir. Sip more. No, stop with the whiskey. <laughs> Oh, here we go, God. chapter two completed. <sighs> Alright, so why... There's many questions. We need some answers. Chapter three, here we go. I don't... Still not sure if this guy is a reliable narrator. He might be seeing things. This might all not be all happening right. this way. Exactly. I can't do it anymore. Uh, these reports will kill me one day. I'll have to finish it over the weekend. Take the pills. <sighs> It's time to get to work. Are the pills like? I should take out the trash wrong? first. Ugh. Ugh. Jesus. Fuck. <sighs> Maybe I'll just ignore it. Nope, we're not ignoring it. <clears throat> yes. Hi, this is Charlotte. <laughs> I guess I interrupted you again. Oh, hi. No, no, I, I just. <clears throat> uh, I wrote reports in those last sections. And I was just about to leave for work. I always know when to call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? This okay. Is... Nothing new. I, uh, had a few days off. Oh, that's nice. Wasn't this the lady that asked for the picture? <laughs> or is that someone else? Did you have a moment to look for something for me? Wait. Mm, something for you? We already did this. The photo I asked you for? It hasn't come yet? Oh, I see. Oh, sorry, but I said it a week ago. No, not yet. Maybe I'm too impatient. Sorry for rushing you. You have so much on your mind, I thought maybe you forgot. It's okay. No worries. Uh, okay, with my you're pills, going I... fully insane. <laughs> maybe you stole our meals? Maybe. Uh, I almost forgot to take my pills. I already pills. took the pills. <laughs> Uh, so you see, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, 
I, uh, have to go now. Yes, yes, sure. Let me know if you still haven't received the letter. Then I'll try... What are you gonna well, do? Maybe I'll find something else. Oh, really? Call, call the post you? service, and they're gonna yeah. be like, yeah, well, too bad. It would be great if you could. Really? Mm-hmm, yes. Most I know awkward it means a lot to you. <laughs> this is well, social anxiety uh, simulator. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Okay. Weird. Damn. Did I mess up the address? I already did that. Uh, <laughs> it immediately completed it. How am I gonna get those pills? Maybe I should invite Charlotte to do something herself. Oh, there's the trash. Are you not gonna take out that trash? There's way more trash than this. Oh, we have to pick them up. Ugh. Why is it so wet? Why don't you take all this? Okay, whatever, sir. I I, I appreciate this is pretty Ooh. like. Oh. Uh, I shouldn't be this tired. Me every time I wake up. Um, pretty robust that it actually didn't bug out there. I was a little scared that it was gonna bug out when I already took the pills, even though they wanted me to do that later. But it was totally fine. Okay, we're just gonna take out one single trash bag and then we're gonna. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, what the fuck? There's a child. Who? Who? But that's behind the thing. No one's there. Shouldn't be there. Ghost baby. Okay, then. We're going to be getting a whole workout here. Going up and down for every single trash bag. Thumbs are this way. Yeah. Oops. What? I wonder if Alice's mother has a film of this photo somewhere. I actually hadn't thought about it before. What do you mean? What do you... Huh? <laughs> uh, I should call her on Friday. What, what, what the photo? What are we talking about with the photo? <laughs> it's okay. I'm a little confused. <clears throat> I don't know what that was about, but oh, it's fine. God. Why do I think I we're just trying to get so the much? photo back so we can send it again. I think that's what we're... I... Huh? Hello? It's just me, Jack? Okay, that's uh, fucking creepy. Good afternoon. Isn't it a bit early for you? I missed our invigorating conversation. I think I'll get straight to work on this one. I just Focusing said fuck you, Ridley, and I left. Sorry, Ridley, I'm not here to talk. I'm here to work. Christ. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. I like how it's not over. Hey, Mr. Ridley, I need help. To keep you on your can't let this bag myself. Is he gonna help? Ah, red light! Ugh, wasn't easy. But at least I can start. A new package must have arrived. I guess Dorothy ordered it. Hmm. I think I'll skip recording a video for the students today. They don't need to see me and the body. Ugh. And they'll still have the accompanying. <clears throat> November 27th, 1991. 5.14 p.m. Conducted by Dr. Jack Hanman. James Evans Jr., also known as Jesse. Age about 30. Is it going to be one of the people weight, from the 130 car? 130 kilograms. Height, 180 centimeters. Evans had previously been convicted of possession of stolen goods, robberies, and drug trafficking. <clears throat> there were also attempts to accuse him of leading a criminal group responsible for burglaries in the New Orleans area. Uh, what? Burglaries in the New Orleans area? This is... Uh, <clears throat> it's a rather strange coincidence. Police photos show that the body was not even particularly hidden, but only covered with a thin layer of soil, branches, and leaves. The body was found naked and mutilated. Clothes, probably belonging to the deceased, were found lying nearby. 
The body was found inadvertently in the woods near Peetsville. The dogs picked up the scent while searching for a missing boy. Oh, wait, was there another one? This one? The deceased's father, James Evans Sr., is a local businessman. He was the one who reported the disappearance. At the time of the report, his son hadn't been home for three days. Ice. Sounds hmm? disturbing. I wonder what condition the body is in then. I'll start by opening the bag. Um. Oh fuck. Oh. I didn't expect this level of mutilation. This is going to be a dirty job. I'll oh, check through the bag the police left. <laughs> There's no head. No head. Lay the contents back. Uh, I'm a little okay. Scalpel, scissors, syringe, magnifying glass, knife. Mm. I guess I forgot to clean the knife. Again? Wait, what do you mean? Lay the contents. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a head in here still, of course. Wait, is there? Maybe there will be something worth noting about the victim's clothes. Oh, no, it's just the clothes. It's not the head. <laughs> Where's the head then? Leather belt. You can see that it's been serving its owner for a long time. Plain gun t shirt. Lost, gone. Classic jeans. Well, the blood stains don't appear to be related to any injuries on the body. The deceased must have been unclothed before he was injured. There's a something lighter there. Engraved with the police insignia. It looks somehow. Uh, it's probably a coincidence. Or a partner in crime. Interesting. Interesting. That's what I just said. Most of the blood is visible around the neckline. However, after decomposition, don't tell me this is Steve. I'd expect a larger stain, uh -oh. reaching much further. Wait a minute. Something stuck here. It looks like some kind of ectasis scale. This could point to an animal being responsible. Uh oh. <sighs> Certainly not my style. Hmm. Traces of blood and plasma. It could have been used to stop or reduce bleeding. Is this? What? Closely exam. I love the way it shakes. I love the physics of this. is so funny. Oh. He can push it? What am I doing? It's a very wiggly belt. What am I exactly trying to push him? Oh, there we go. Something's open. After all, what else could I expect? Wait. So this is drugs. So what's the, the what's the other baggie in the the lab? It's the exact same shit. Weird. Uh, someone obviously didn't want to put in the work. These clothes haven't been thoroughly searched. So you guys have just wait 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 wait. Can I check Maybe the traces of soil? It's a bit like the perpetrators pulled his shirt over his head. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Can I not check the pocket? Check the pants. There's like obviously something in the pants. Oh shit! I love the way the physics on this is so good. Can't check the pants. Examine the clothes. Didn't I already just examine the clothes? Is there more? <clears throat> what else? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I need to look at the belt again. Excuse me. Something with the pants? Can I turn them inside out? Just shake it really hard. I cannot look inside the pockets. I cannot rotate it up and down. I can just rotate it this way. Can't look inside there. The belt loop. Something on there. There's... So fucking shaky. There's like a clicky there. 
Belt loop on pants? Wait. This? Oh! Here, another animal souvenir. And here, another animal souvenir. Did you just say that? It looks different than the previous one. What is this? <laughs> the only thing I can tell from the clothes is that before his death, Evans had either put up quite a fight, or the attackers simply dragged him along the ground for a long distance. In turn, and this is certainly strange, the injuries themselves were inflicted only when he was naked. <clears throat> okay, I'll take a look at the scales. No, I'm taking a look at this. Don't Dorothy you guys have- brought an animal encyclopedia here. She performed an autopsy on an exotic animal smuggler. What's this? The thing? guy suffered an accident while transporting illegal animals. Isn't that drugs too? Not only were the police needed on site, but it took nearly a day to round up his cargo. Dorothy had a hard time in that case. Did the impact kill him? Or did one of the animals he was transporting do him in? They even talked about it on the news. People were terrified that some reptile would just come out of their can and grab him. Okay, the book. I guess we can't- I feel like you should give that over to the police. That's not necessarily our job. Anal analysis of animal traces in forensics. Open. Look to the lab and compare the skills with the examples in the others. This is a cool one. Different types of- such different types of forensic stuff, all relating to bodies and figuring out how they died. Uh, and I click on the body, I sit at the desk, have a little sit-down session. What am I doing? <clears throat> oh, go to the lab. Sorry, I'm stupid. Lab time. Oh, what? Excuse me! What the fuck? <laughs> Who is this? It's the body. It's got no head. Uh, all right. Uh, which uh, local wildlife? I bet I'll find something here. similar. This guy immediately forgets. Is it not that? It looks like that. Wait, not this, this is this area, but who knows? No, it's not the exact same. It's slightly different. Nile Crocodile. Maybe this one. This Formally one looks... worshipped as a god in ancient Egypt. Mm. Very similar, but the color is slightly different. Not a match. This looks similar. Nope. Like that it's one! It's a completely different color and structure. Oh, it's the That's color strange. actually matters? This one, then. <laughs> How it... That doesn't seem to be fake. I see. What kind is this? Ah. Uh, Salt water. Oh, yes. This turtle turned out to be a killer. He ripped off the guy's wrist and tore him in a few other places. Aggressive beast. I only need to concentrate on the crocodile chapter. Okay. <laughs> Why is this not the same? Mm. Very similar, but the color is slightly different. Well, oh, th this scale that's makes the same more color? sense than the previous one. How did it? I mean, I'm here. glad you're telling so, me because I would have either someone matched donned it wrong. And crocodile products was around the deceased, or one of them attacked him. I'll examine the body and take photos. If an animal attacked him, there'll be traces. Yeah, I feel like you wouldn't find something like this. Ugh. I mean, I guess Christ. they shed their skin sometimes. Why maybe? am I so tired? Do Crocodiles do that though. Would be nice. Uh, what was I, I feel like to... that's a reptile. Uh, the pictures. I'll have to show them to Dorothy. Too bad that we no longer keep our ranking. With something like that, <laughs> I would come out on top. Plus, That's they didn't even like bother to long, blur this because there is no PP. Wait, what the fuck? They chop off his PP. That's fucked up, man. Who's Dorothy? It's like. It's similar to a mortuary assistant. You also have like a lady that helps you, but you would never actually see that person. Like the person oh, right. isn't actually real. I'll begin. The deceased skin is smooth and taut. This suggests an advanced stage of decomposition of the corpse. It's unlikely that a human would make such a wound. Are we gonna zoom in on the missing PP? No. Nasty. 
There's so many marks. What the fuck? You see that? How many Such things a wound could never have occurred during the victim's lifetime. The restraint marks. There are also clear traces of the deceased ankles being bound in some way. Did they get like fed? This is some mafia shit right here. Did they get like fed to like, crocodiles? Have tied himself up like that. It looks like some sort of attack or kidnapping. That is a by a the, what the fuck? No. And as expected, there's a bite. Okay. Yeah, missing head. I feel like that's important. No head. That's not hard to miss. No head. <laughs> Fucked up. This wound appears to have been made by a sharp instrument. There's also the shoulder, but that's nothing. Okay, last one is gonna be. There's something. Hmm, interesting. This needs to be investigated further. Okay. That is some fucked up shit. I need this to gather is some mafia together. shenanigans. And look at these photos. It's. I wonder whether the decapitation took. Hmm, I should have the work oh, of wait, animals oh, sorry. can be seen here. The question is which ones. Whoops! <laughs> I interrupted the guy. I thought we were just previously. I would just put it down, and then he would start talking. Whoops! I skipped him talking. I mean, we know what he was gonna say. <laughs> like this is all fucked up. Take a picture of the bite marks from the photo board. Okay. Bite marks. Bite marks. This looks very promising. The bite is clearly visible. The bite of 87? It should be easy to compare it with the encyclopedia and identify the culprit. I just need to make it a little bigger. It'll be faster than physically measuring the bite. I hope I put it in hey, right. Hey, what's up, Nico Hart? I can never remember whether it was image up or image down. Excuse me. We, if you are eating right now, if you're coming in, Raiders, uh, don't eat anymore because you're not gonna <laughs> be very happy. We didn't have facilities like We're a playing fax a machine. messed up game right now. Everything was done by hand. Okay, take the reap. Okay, we're making it bigger. Ah, fantastic. Practically a one to one. Just some tracing paper, a pencil, and I can check these in the encyclopedia. Oh, I see. Use the tracing paper in your office for further examination. We're gonna check now, it based on the teeth marks of the alligators. Maybe a box somewhere. Ugh. I don't see. remember if I left them out somewhere. Uh, tracing paper. You have tracing paper. I remember using tracing paper as a kid to like draw stuff because I couldn't draw. This guy be yawning. He's a little tired. I hope everyone's doing good. We are playing Autopsy Simulator right now, which is similar to Mortuary Assistant. If you've ever played or watched Mortuary Assistant, it's more heavily focused on the story, though. We are Jack, uh, who is has a wife, and the wife got murdered. And we are, I think, based on the story, Red Pete has murdered our wife. And Red Pete is seemingly gotten away from prison and is now trying to kill us again. Or trying to go after us. I think that's what's going on here, but it's a little up in the air what's exactly happening, and we're trying to figure it out. Here. Tracing oh, paper. Looks like I can tidy up after myself. Confidential. Okay, let's go. Tracing time. A very, uh, nature driven case so far. I'll have to consult the encyclopedia again. Good thing Dorothy left it here. Otherwise, I would have had to run back to my place to get some. Okie dokie. Use the atlas to compare the bites. Let's see. Are we gonna... We know exactly the teeth the composition, I guess. Okay, let's see. We have... Like, four small teeth at the front. That's different from that one. Different from that one. This looks... That looks similar. No. Is it literally just the first one? This one looks the most similar. The shape of the jaw appears correct, no. but not the teeth. Uh, that's not it. This is not it either, though. I guess this one? Definitely not. No. The tooth line forms a V letter. This one. But this one, no, I tried that one before. Didn't I try this one before? Oh, there we go. That makes sense. This would also explain the molt found in the clothes. It turns out that some of the wounds can be safely blamed on local alligators. However, 
We cannot blame them for the decapitation. What is his name? Alligator Mississippi Penis. <laughs> Sorry. Mrs. Mississippi. Peensis. <laughs> Mississippiensis? Is that what it is? It's not these animals we should be afraid of here. Uh, I should make some notes and start the autopsy. Oh God. So we're also seeing a lot of visions and stuff. I don't know exactly, but we're definitely having a little trouble right now. Oh. He's also very tired all the time. Inspect areas of concern with uh, magnifying look glass. Look for other traces using a magnifying glass. Missing head. Uh, it doesn't look good. Evans <laughs> wasn't decapitated with one cut. Oh, Jesus. Several stab wounds of varying depth and circumference. This is fucked up. Mississippi alligator. Hmm. It's strange that an alligator would leave such a clear and smooth mark. This this reeks of like torture and shit hmm. bullshit with animals. The imprints are quite deep and even. From the looks of it, I'd say Evans was just strained with his own belt. Oh. The result of an animal tearing at its body. Oh, his TP got bitten off. Genitals. There are even some teeth marks, but. Uh, well, it doesn't look like an alligator. The bite is firmly incorporated into the wound. A photo alone won't help me here. I need to make a cast and compare it. What the fuck? You're gonna make a cast for his pee, pee Looks like an uneven bite. It's worth taking a closer look at this. Maybe there will be some remaining teeth marks. Okie dokie. Evan's right side must have been more attractive to the crocs and insects. Very strong binding marks. You can see peeled epidermis and small wounds. One more. One more over there. It looks like the killer might have missed before they finally hit the neck. I see. <sighs> There's no end to playing zoologist today. I need a tool with dental impression cement. Can I find it here? Uh, no. It's probably lying somewhere around in the lab. Okay, this is <laughs> really expired. cool though. But massively messed up. There's a lab for dispensing, silicone dispensing gun. Uh, where did I put my silicone dispensing gun? Over here? There? A month after the due date. That could be worse. Then hit a castle. The bite marks around the groin. <laughs> we are truly doing this, huh? Alrighty then. Now I need to cover the bite area. Wait until it hardens. Mm. <sighs> oh fuck, dude. Examine the finished cast. We need to wait for it to harden, though. Hmm. Oh. The cast looks quite contaminated from the other wounds in that area. Okay, uh, well, let's hope the imprint turns out better. Brush, ink, and paper. Similar to taking fingerprints. We're gonna... <laughs> okay, I see. Paint over the area. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. very strange. I'll run it through the facts and check it on the computer. I really don't want to believe what I'm seeing. Wait, what? Excuse me? Or do you mean we're doing this right now? First, wait, huh? Similar to taking fingerprints. Oh, we're doing it with this. I, I understand. I thought we were going to do this area. with his thing. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. And put a piece of paper on it. Bloop. Uh, that's very strange. They're human um, teeth? Run it through the facts and check it on the computer. I really don't Someone like bit off his pee pee? Bro. What the fuck? Match the bite mark in the criminal database. Uh, loading. Ugh. Ugh. 
What? Well, uh, this is, uh, well, this is quite unexpected. Human teeth. This one looks oh, very fuck. similar. I need to tell this to Stephen. Uh, they're perf maybe? No, not entirely. I don't think this fits. I don't think it's allowing me to continue because it's wrong, probably. Um, this one... I'm looking at the molars. It's so- it's just a clicky one, yeah. We have... Thing at the bottom. They all look like so similar. This one, maybe? Yes. Analyze. Loading. This is definitely it. I mean, it wasn't the right one anyway. Uh, it'll probably Successful. Take a while. Who is this? Oh wait, I have to find- huh? Oh, now I need to find- Another one? Why another one? Why not the same guy? Okay. This... So now I have different teeth. This is definitely wrong. That's also wrong. Can I get the same one as before? What if the most- there, this one. Uh, maybe? We're narrowing it down. Okay, no match. Whoops. It's gotta be... Hmm. Maybe one? not everything is cataloged yes. quickly. Floating. Uh, it'll probably take a while. Okay. It's just, what's weird to me here is... Why do we have to s analyze different teeth every time? Shouldn't it be one person matching all of these instead of three different people matching parts of it? I, don't, I just don't get it. Maybe for gameplay reasons, I guess? That's not it either. There. Loading. Uh, it'll probably take a while. Te their teeth types? Uh, finally. Huh? Oh, what the fuck was that? That was my- that was the photo we sent to Charlotte. Okay. Haunting. I'm going back to the body. Ugh. I need to make a note before I start the dissection. You can see that the tool used was sharp and smooth. So, what if it was in the hands of an unskilled person? This guy's they bored out of quite his shallow. mind. Someone must have inflicted these with some sort of primitive tool. He's yawning while it's literally got like the most disgusting mutilated body on his Torn desk tissue, of all time. lacerations, white wounds. This wound turned out to be more troublesome than I thought it would be. Uh, anything missing? Have I selected it all? Decapitation. Yeah, that seems like a possible death cause. Suffocation as well. I guess it could have obviously happened afterwards. That's it. I like the previous. Am I missing? Oh, there's one more. Maybe a perfect breeding ground for larvae. Fortunately, the deceased doesn't care about it, just like we do now. Okay. Alligators rarely kill humans. Due to the body fat of the deceased, I'm adding a heart attack to the list. Maybe Evans didn't live long enough to experience what happened to him. Ah, uh, oh man. I was hoping for an easier case. I can't, I can't, oh no. No, no, no. Oh, Time thank for you. internal analysis. Finally. First of all, I was gonna I'll try to there. determine it's whether death occurred the before the decapitation. Or if it ended Evan's suffering. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's interesting how a lot of the cases. With the scalpel, I'll open the deceased's chest. I cut deep, in a straight line, avoiding the navel. Even deeper. Oh, well, we gotta go deeper. Wait, do we? With an empty hand. Pe oh, we, here we see go. a lot of fat tissue under the skin. When okay. I remove the ribs, I expect to see even more fat on the organs. Nope. Mm, correct. High levels of internal fat. 
organ size above average due to obesity, I move on to the lung analysis. The deceased smoked cigarettes. But Everyone's a smoker. You can see that the lungs have clearly suffered severe trauma. The lung parenchyma is abnormal with diffuse hemorrhage. I see. Can I not do anything with this? I'm trying to click it. And oh, there we go. this is the culprit. Well, it didn't look like the holes were that deep. Such hemorrhage could have been caused by hitting the chest with a blunt object or a puncture directly affecting the organ. They appear to be of different depths. The cross section is uneven. Open pneumothorax should be added to this. <laughs> the deceased could have experienced extreme hypoxia and, as a result, obstructive shock. I wonder what the heart looks like. The organ is enlarged with very clear, light yellow traces of but similarly to the lungs. I touched it for one there second. Stop interrupting yourself, sir. Object. In pneumothorax, the heart rate increases. In the event of such a wound, this would mean bleeding out faster and more. In turn, a sudden increase in the amount of fluid in the pericardial cavity could lead to cardiac tamponade. Which is also a life-threatening condition. <laughs> you just joined, yeah, yummy, yummy. Keep hard wound. Okay. Wait. There's another one. Oh, there's just something. Evans, else. however, is remarkably uh, clean, considering this turn of events. The organ is fatty and enlarged. Beginnings of cirrhosis are obvious. Hmm. Excuse me? I, oh, I'm sorry, it. I did that out of order. I should listen to you. Yummy? What the fuck is that? This time, nothing to write home about. There's like a bunch of stuff. The organ is fatty with early signs of corrosis. So, I proceed to carefully remove the stomach. Like most other organs, it is fatty and clearly enlarged. Not to mention swollen. Partially due to gases but mainly due to the deceased's lifestyle. I take the organ to the cutting board. The outside is intact. I'm going to check the contents. Well, we're gonna see just a... <laughs> what are we gonna see here? I'm curious. He's gonna have some fucked up shit. He's it gonna have all the money in there, like maybe? there's an unusually large amount of undigested uh, and now rotten stomach contents inside. Uh, no. blood. Evans had to swallow it due to his injuries. Oh, Jesus. Which means he was still alive oh. when he was brutally wounded in the chest. Yikes. Yikes. Enlarged stomach with no external signs of damage. Stomach walls intact. No signs of bleeding inside the organ. Lots of undigested blood in the stomach contents, which most likely flowed down the upper gastrointestinal tract. Only the trachea left to be examined. Surprisingly, it's not damaged by the decapitation. I move on to cutting it open. Okay. I carefully cut. And... Blood. Just as I expected. Heavens not only swallowed it, but also choked on it. Jesus! <sighs> Looks like I can wrap no this up. Ever. Let me tie this together. Trigger is free from wounds. After go. he was abducted, stripped, and tied up, he was dealt several penetrating blows to the chest. Then his head was cut off. Evans was deprived of his genitals, and the body served as an easy meal for the animals. Bro. But, like, are you not going to talk about the fact that his, like, penis got bitten off by <laughs> the human teeth? That seems like a insane... Even though there are a lot of injuries oh. on the body that could cause death, it was the decapitation that ended Evan's life. The animal bites on the limbs occurred after death, so there's no reason to treat these as the cause of death. The damage to the lungs and heart must have led to severe hemorrhaging, so there's no doubt that Evans was choking in bloody convulsions. But it didn't last too long. Which I conclude from the small amount of blood in the stomach and trachea. I never thought I'd ever wish someone to have a heart attack. 
But in this case, uh, it would have been better for him. In some way, it can be said with certainty that James Evans was murdered. Okay, there's this uh, homicide. We're gonna do. Fuck. <laughs> That's oh, well. my signature. <sighs> I need to stitch this poor guy back up. It's changing every day. Ah, it's really bothering me. Well, Something's not right. right here. Because even now, the organs are relatively clean. The skin around wounds also. It's like. Hmm. Someone pumped it out? Oh, Christ. I don't know. It's kind of weird. The body. Uh, I'll leave these questions for the police to solve. I was expecting jump scare. And now, uh, I get to head home. Okay. So it wasn't Steven. Uh, it's a fucked up thing. I'll hold off taking long walks in the forest for the near future. I have a feeling that it won't end with just one body. I mean, maybe it could still be. It's your car in the parking lot. I, th I thought that we definitely caught on to the twist there and it was gonna be like, what the hell? I mean, hopefully not. Steven is kind of seems like an okay Good dude. Good night, Mr. Ridley. The body is ready to be picked up. Sure. Good night. Sure. <laughs> he uh, does not give a I shit. I think it's the first time in a long time that I finished work at a decent hour. The light is still up. I'll get home and... What? I can't screen. believe what I'm seeing. Excuse me? Oh, come on, fuck! When did I get a flat tire? Oh. What the fuck? All of my tires! <sighs> oh, come on. Sorry, this so is impossible. What's this supposed to mean? Why is this happening? Oh, someone is messing with me again? Oh. <sighs> uh, there's clearly a screwdriver oh, there. I'm going to Ridley's. Maybe he saw something. No, he's always doing absolutely fucking nothing. This guy is useless. He the... How did he not catch that? What are you even doing? What's your job Ridley, if not looking up? You after... know what happened to my car? Oh, what happened to your car? Oh, All the tires are fucking flat. Well, it happens. Don't you have a spare in the yeah, trunk? Yeah, let me have four spare, spare tires in the, in the trunk. No one carries four fucking <laughs> extra tires in the trunk. Jesus, Hanman, calm down. I'll call you a taxi. Calm down? That's a bit of an exaggeration, don't you think? Have you seen anyone around here? Someone strange? Suspicious? Except you? No. Haha, uh -huh. funny. I don't find all these jokes amusing, you know. What jokes? Hammy, yeah, what's wrong with you? Bro, it's just tired. It's just tired. Such things are not about? a coincidence. This guy is insane what's wrong with me? Things keep happening. Last week. This guy fucking and now sucks. This, just go wait for the taxi, okay? Fresh air would do you good. <sighs> Bro. I mean, you know I will do anything about it now. Neither you nor I will do anything? What have you been doing all day? That's what I'm saying! Surely something like this can't just be overlooked. Maybe you should go outside and cool down. Maybe you should I'm do your fucking job. Cool town. The paper's still the same. <sighs> Bro, this guy fucking sucks. He needs to be fired. He's doing absolutely nothing. I just... I just want to sleep. Okay, we're taking a taxi, I guess. There we go. Complete chapter three. What the hell? He, he literally... There's finally something that happens, and he missed it in time. I mean, I guess it makes sense that if there's nothing happening, usually you would miss the it one time it does just happen. Move in come on, here. man. I doubt I'll get reimbursed for the cab. I mean, huh? Fuck. Someone in here? What the fuck? Hello? Um. Hello? Someone in the basement? No? Maybe in the. I'm going here. I'm just curious. Anyone in the shack? Don't turn around right now. There's no one behind me. We have never been in the shack, huh? What if someone's living here? We just haven't seen it this whole time? Jump scare. I was expecting one. I guess not. We chilling? Still the same newspaper. 
Ridley has also been reading the same newspaper every single freaking day. Basement. I tried to click on the basement, but it didn't open. Damn. Uh, it's already late. Good evening. Oh. Any news for me? Hmm. About my car? You know, the flat tires? No. No what? Have you checked the cameras? Anything? Handman, I cut my teeth working in prison. I know what to do. What? There were no strangers hanging around. Maybe you ran over something. What? <laughs> All the tires? Quite possibly. You can congratulate yourself. Uh, Christ. Oh, this you should try me sleeping off, more. Dude. You've been kind of out of it lately. That's the first bit of sense you've made all evening. Good. Holy shit. Body is expected to be ready for pickup tonight, along with your lecture. What? Wait, what? No one. You still pontificating? Best hurry, don't you think? Okay, dude. What the fuck? Oh, fuck me. I don't have the strength for this today. Oh. Have I taken my pills today? Did I take it? Or... Oh. Yeah, this guy focus. is actually annoying as hell. It's just like, yeah, oh, your fuck. tires all went flat. That's like totally time. normal. Okay, okay. <sighs> one by one, Jack. Take, take it easy. Oh. oh, a burning issue indeed. Then I'll move on to the body. Ah, oh, shit. The lecture. I almost forgot. I'm gonna need the camcorder. We're gonna film this one? The students are gonna be fucking traumatized. <laughs> this uh, one looks, doesn't this look very is good. Making me nervous. Oh, the pacing is very good in this game. <laughs> like, it's, it's getting whack. Weird. No, not wacky. Like, crazier and crazier. <laughs> Okay, then I guess we're gonna film this one <laughs> Yeah Men will literally literally do autopsies instead of going to therapy POV The hell man Oh well Okay <laughs> This is, crazy, this but is all right, not man. the best framing yeah, the ass shot. Hello, everyone. It's the 20... <clears throat> something of uh, November 1991. Jack Hanlon is uh, conducting, conducting the autopsy. Oh, <laughs> I uh, appear to be missing my gloves and apron. Yes, For an autopsy from, uh, YouTuber? You, well, you already know the drill, so uh, the body is Hi, YouTube, on the slab. How are you doing? And Let's see back. what the police uncovered first. Okay. So, the victim is from yesterday's apartment block fire on Drowner Street. Personal details unknown. The exact oh, cause I of the fire see. has not yet been determined. However, it is known that the fire started in the deceased's apartment, where the most damage was reported. The body was not found until the next morning. The tenant was naked, charred, and with severe burns. The owner of the apartment asked about the deceased. He was surprised anyone even lived there. The deceased was sitting in an armchair near the TV. Pieces of pornographic material, an ashtray, melted video cassettes, and several bottles of so-called poppers were found in the vicinity. It's difficult to assess whether any escape attempts were made. Firefighters indicated that it was probably <laughs> The large quantity of poppers found near the deceased, and rapid spread of the fire. <clears throat> well, that's our basic question. Whether the death occurred as a result of fire, or whether he was dead before it. <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to say, Sexmas? As you can see, the body is in quite an unusual pose. For the purpose of photographic documentation, we'll leave it like that for now. This oh, position is called the pugilistic attitude. This is due to the influence of high temperature on the muscles. Okay. He's got freaking rope, man. The fire reaches the skin first, then the soft tissue, until the skeletal muscles are exposed. Yikes. 
He is bound though, like are we shit. Coagulation occurs in exposed muscles due to their fiber shrinking. Are we he is bound! Are you not gonna talk about this? <laughs> He's got handcuffs on. The extensors yield to the force of the flexors. Huh? Is he gaslighting me? The muscles contract and contract until the limbs become flexy and deformed. I guess they already know that, but why is he not at least mentioning it? The upper ones are characterized by a triple bend, similar to a boxer holding his hands in front of him. Jesus. On the back? Oh, God. No, nothing on the back. Okay, there's one more. What's the last one? We already did face. We did legs, hands. Face, the teeth, I see. Wait. I can't take a picture. I can't zoom anymore. Excuse me? Maybe the back? What the fuck? Uh, excuse me? I can't take this picture. I can't I'm not zoom. Zoom out? Oh, I need to zoom out. Just 10 minutes <laughs> will do it. 10 minutes for the muscles and tendons to contract like a steak on the grill. Face. Okay. In the end, we're all just walking meat. I'm doing it slower this time, so I'm not interrupting him. See, this is why I did it so fast last time, because he never says um, anything when you the do the photos. The must now be straightened out, and we need to get rid of these bindings. Okay. He looks to have been tied up in a rather unusual way. The deceased's neck and feet were most likely secured to his hands, and these were probably tied in front and around the crotch level. Is this some, like, freaky shit gone wrong? Which <laughs> explains why, despite the severe burns, the deceased's limbs are not all that twisted. Uh, that's better. It's easier to straighten him now. Without taking out the magnifying sure. glass, <laughs> we already know that the deceased's skin is heavily charred and cracked. Okay. Well. As for the other details, hmm, there are crow's feet visible near the eyes upper lip reveals front teeth one of the incisors is broken there's soot in the nostrils the rope around the neck wasn't very tight i don't see it leaving a mark on the skin the rope marks around the wrists are deep and clearly visible The victim sat in the chair the whole time, hence his back being in much better condition. Imagine than not this having the nudity area. filter on. You just got a giant dick in your face. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this zoom, dude? <laughs> Looks as if a large flap of skin had detached from the calf. That's fucked up. The rope at the man's ankles was tied much tighter and more precisely than the one around his wrists. All in all, quite a lot can be deduced from this external examination. Okay, uh... The eye clenching is a natural reaction of the body to high temperatures. Soot in the nose appears when inhaling harmful and choking smoke. The tissue of the mouth was heavily burned as well. The teeth, however, makes me wonder. Traces failed to indicate that the deceased suffocated before the fire took hold. Oh, that must have been terrifying. Well, fuck. Severe burns, covering approximately 80% of the epidermis. He appears to be loosely tied. However, this is the result of the corpse drying out. The wound shows that the rope had deeply uh. imprinted itself in the tissue. Uh, predominance of fourth and third degree burns. The burns reach through the dermis and hypodermis to reach the muscles. The body is covered in numerous areas. The length of the rope <laughs> was calculated. <laughs> the conclusions are quite clear. It may seem incidental, but for us it's a sign that the deceased was most certainly conscious. 
We need to check the damage inhaling all that smoke has done to the respiratory tract. Perhaps the deceased lost a tooth attempting to bite through the rope. Uh, I see. It looks like the deceased was a fan of choking while masturbating. Deaths due to a predilection for asphyxia do occur, but not in this case. <laughs> what's, a, what's a fucking out of left field conclusion? Are we not assuming? My first instinct would be that this is a homicide. The what the, the hell? The stresses of the <laughs> body <laughs> insanely out of pocket. <laughs> Wounds on the wrists and ankles indicate that the deceased could have been struggling in panic. <laughs> Burns to the genitals and groin are an additional concussive factor. This is due to the high vascularity and innervation of this area. In this case, I don't assume that this was a delayed death. The mixture of fear, sexual arousal, and drugs could have caused a heart attack. <laughs> I will assess the extent of possible <laughs> poisoning fuck, and burning in a moment. First, I'll try to establish the victim's identity. <laughs> Due to the amount of charring, we are unable to collect the victim's fingerprints. Visual identification is also out of the teeth, question. Though. You can probably guess what options we are left yes. with, hmm? You guessed it. A dental impression. For this, I need impression trays and alkanate material. Please excuse me for a moment. What I need should be still. <laughs> okay, it's going well. I should be able to get this done in time. <sighs> Where are these trays? Towels, papers, jars? Nope. It's not anywhere on the counter. I love how he said this to the students as if it was like fact. Like, yeah, this is totally. I mean, I mean, maybe. But I can interact with. No, not. Uh, find the tools in the lab. Where, though? Oh, here. Maybe Let's in this see. drawer. Oh, I'll warm this up in my hands. Do what, though? Okay. Make a cast of the teeth. Was there someone? It keeps doing this like okay. visual effect as if I'm Making getting jump scared, but I'm not seeing anything. Simple. You put trays with alkanate into the mouth and press them together in one firm movement until you feel significant resistance. Once the devices have been placed, <sighs> he's uh, bored. <laughs> apologies, they cannot be adjusted. Okay, again. We will need a piece of paper, a brush, and ink. We will make a plaster model of the deceased's teeth from the obtained impression. We will then make an impression of the mold on a piece of paper, which will be scanned into the computer. I see. Uh, go over here. It was... What? Oh, I see. Uh, you see, it seems so simple and yet laborious. On the plus side, we don't have to worry about the gag reflex with the deceased. And no need to remind the subject to breathe either. <laughs> At least he saved the high cost of orthodontic treatment. Bro, this guy be laughing. This guy be cracking jokes at one of the most insane autopsies he's ever experienced. Maybe not. Maybe this is maybe this is a daily occurrence for this guy. I don't know. This seems insane. <laughs> Imagine, like, the teacher watching this in, in class and being like, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. We have... Wow. Oh, Who would have expected a match so soon? Wait, what? Well, the deceased is Richard Jacobson. I didn't even have to do anything. Old. He had a criminal record and was recently in court for... Oh, wow. For not returning a videotape <laughs> to the rental shop. Oh, Jesus. I better check if I've still got that copy of... Uh, <clears throat> uh, where were we? Find for not returning a VHS tape. Charged with a felony for not returning a VHS tape? Sentenced to one year in prison? The fuck? I mean, I guess it's been a few years, but like still, you're gonna go to one year in prison? <laughs> We're not returning the Lion King on VHS. Okay. Are you kidding me? I'll add some details to the clip. What the board. hell, Disney? Uh, okay. I don't know if he was okay. watching the Lion and King. And we can move on to dissecting the body. This time, I'll go straight for the loppers. You go straight for the loppers? I'll slice it piece by piece. What? 
Let me start here. You're gonna do what now? I push hard several times. What are we doing exactly? Until I cut a given I section. See. Okay. Because it's so burned, you can't just do an incision. Chop. You can see that using a scalpel would be pointless here. Yeah, it's too it's too rough. It's too like tough, I guess. <clears throat> Crunchy. That gives a nice crunch. <laughs> what did you say earlier? <sighs> Solid crunch. <laughs> exactly like that. Almost this guy there. should do like cereal commercials. Crunchy Kellogg cereal. Yum yum. As crunchy as the bones of a Now we spot. peel back the skin. Okay. Jesus. Now to remove the ribs. And we can check out what's going on in here. Dude, and uh, I see that a lot has happened. Uh, in that fact, the entire abdominal cavity is flooded. Ugh. Blood and other fluids have seeped from the blood vessels. Flooding the abdomen and chest areas. Jesus. You have to get rid of this. Uh, I'll go get a cup or a ladle. A cup or a ladle? You're gonna spoon it out like you're serving the daily soup? Or are you okay? I mean, I guess. I think I saw one somewhere here. Uh, 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 I don't have all night. I'm going to need a vacuum. That's what I was uh, thinking you would right. use. <laughs> Running around for everything starts again. Uh, why can't really things be tidied away properly in this damn mortuary? Uh, I'm gonna get Ridley. I wonder what this pump is. Let's see if Probably Ridley does anything. Basement. Mr. Ridley? Mr. Ridley? I'll just of course, go to the he's basement missing and check. this guy. He literally is. The, he must not exist. He either doesn't exist or he's literally. He like senses it when. Oh God! I can my my work senses are tingling. Someone's about to ask me to do something other than sitting around and doing nothing. I gotta go to the bathroom. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> like fuck you, dude. He's doing nothing ever. This guy's useless. What a piece of crap. Like literally, he's just been sitting there all day. As soon as I need him, he's gone. Uh, there's a person in my office. Hello? Um. What? Ah, uh, jeez. Huh? I don't know what. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ! I scrap so loud. Just get the crap out of me. <laughs> Holy fuck! Jesus. Uh, where is this infernal machine? Okay. Uh, back here somewhere. Wow, that's heavy. Can I fit through the door with this? Well, let's see. Is, are we not gonna talk about the guy that was just standing in the office? Did Ridley get murdered? I'm have an accident here one day. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. if Ridley got murdered because he wasn't paying attention and he got like shot in the face the stairs. because some like <sighs> criminal walked in, the then. karma. I'm, I'm to be sorry. First trip since <sighs> oh, I don't know how long. I had so much. And Alice. Handman. Because of me. <laughs> As always, she had to. Excuse yeah, I mean, are you me? talking to yourself or what? Huh? What? No, I. I just. <laughs> I was a actually for so you. right. Left it on your desk. Letter, for me. Yes, letter for you. Do of I have to repeat myself again? Uh, no. Thank Bro, you. Bro, this Where guy you? fucking sucks. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> Who delivers letters at this time? It's probably been sat in his office for ages. Just didn't want to move his Let lazy ass. Let me put this ass. down first. He, like, he went to the bathroom at the perfect time to not have to do shit. So, <clears throat> we have the equipment. Now I have to place it somewhere close to the table. Okay. Phew. I can finally put this thing down. Alright, just... What? There's no tube? No one's used this for a long time. I apologize to you all once again. Maybe there's something useful in the social room. How about we go read this letter first? I want to read the letter. No tube. There was a person here. I don't... I mean, it was probably not real. Did you not say there was a letter on my... This. Wednesday. No? It's not my favorite day. Aha. Uh -huh. 3649. Okay. 3649. Okay. 3649. The window is three, six, open. Four, nine. 
Three seven four nine. And it was closed before. Uh, three seven nine four. Are you? It's three six four nine. Wait, didn't he say there was a letter in my office? Or uh, maybe I didn't listen properly. I, I guess we're doing something in the social room with this code. Uh, these lockers could contain everything we need, or simply fill with people's see. crap. I mean, there was a there was a, a letter, but the letter we already interacted with before, right? This thing. Focus, Jack. Is there really anything you can use in here? They definitely pay me too little for this. Yeah, there's no unless you put it in here for some reason. No. He just he just didn't do his job. Ridley didn't do his job again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the lock. I just wanna check for the letter. That's good. There might be something in here. Yep. I'm sure I wrote the code down on a piece of paper. Four nine, right? Four nine. Me and my yeah. memory for numbers. Ah, what do we have here? Boxes of disinfectants, syringes, thread. Oh. Some small trinkets. Well, that's interesting. Alcohol. Uh, maybe I should take it to the office. Antiseptics. Any other about here? What is that? Book? Open the book? Oh, I wanted to forget. Oh, Alice. I regret so much every day. Every fucking day. I can't. I can't take it anymore. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. Sir, you need the pills again? He needs the. This guy needs therapy. Oh. Oh. Do not think. Just don't. Just don't think. <laughs> <sighs> Office of the Medical Examiner, Beatsville. Oh, Jack. I was hoping to catch you at work. <clears throat> uh, hi, uh, Dorothy. Uh, how... Uh, how's it going? Good, good, thanks. And what about you? You sound tired. Uh, I, uh... Uh, thank you. Uh, I love oh, hearing yeah. that every single uh, day. <laughs> tiring day at work. That's it. You scared me last time we spoke. Uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I didn't want to cause any trouble and say what I said. Jack, it's all right. You're not causing any trouble. I'm not surprised at all that. No, no, really. I mean it. Sorry. I, I just... Oh, I'm fed up with myself. You should take care of yourself. Didn't you say you wanted to stay at home longer? To rest? You know I pick up the slack at work. No, I didn't. I can't. I don't want to be there. Well, uh, why not consider taking a trip, Jack? Dorothy, please. I really don't have the energy for this today. Uh, I just wish... Stop it. Uh, why are you calling? Reminder about annual drug testing. I thought... I figured you probably didn't remember. Oh, yes. I've, uh, had a lot going on. I, uh, even forgot my own birthday. <laughs> Leave your samples at reception on your way home. Someone will pick them up from Ridley in the morning. Probably Steven or someone else at the station. Sure. Yeah. I'll try not if to forget. Ridley doesn't okay. fuck anything well, up. Uh... Jack? Hmm? Try not to do anything stupid, okay? Alcohol, your medication. Oh, you... yeah. No, you shouldn't. I have it all under control. Uh, I should be getting back to work. The results Too should late. be in tomorrow. I'll call you when we know. Right. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Bye. Yeah, he's been drinking with all the meds this whole time. This is the first thing I said. <sighs> and he won't drop. There's been a bit too much going on lately. Fox Pod, they give it that one year. <clears throat> How much I was supposed to collect the hose. Why is it so echoey in the bathroom? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Let's see, is he doing anything or is he sleeping again? You're reading the same newspaper every day. You would think that if you do nothing besides reading a newspaper, you would finish the fucking newspaper, you dumbass! Fuck this guy. 
He's still he's still busy with the one from three days ago. Focus on your work, Jack. When is he gonna help us? Outside, outside of being sassy and gaslighting us, that getting four flat tires <clears throat> on right. one day is totally normal. He's Here still stuck on the crossroads. I hope that was the last long break in this session. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, we're doing this. So, let's connect the tube. Yo, that's gonna be great. Set the pump. To, where did we connect it? Set the pump to full speed. We turn on the machine. With this amount of fluid, there's no point in holding back. Okay then. <laughs> fluid physics. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm slurping. I'm slurping. Still a few nooks and crannies left. <laughs> Milkshake. It's strawberry flavor, guys. Don't worry. I'm external not examinations did not reveal any tissue defects that would reach the internal organs. Slurp, slurp, slurp. There's so a lot of I expect the organs to be intact. I love how he's <laughs> I love how he's filling it with awkward small talk like he's a streamer like <laughs> doing a puzzle that takes too long <laughs> like <laughs> but he is in a way <laughs> it's quite extraordinary bro but even with <laughs> such severe burns skin fat muscles peritoneal yeah, fascia mean, they can keep the insides intact Okay, I think I've done the organs it. are all present and correct. Jesus. A reddish pink tint indicates high carboxyhemoglobin levels, the level of which I will determine <laughs> from a sample of blood. I will be insert. What interests oh, me here is not the presence of this substance itself, but rather its percentage content of the sample. Okay. I'm getting uh, achievements. I wonder if but I first, miss anybody. Yet. I'll need the values for the centrifuge. Okie dokie. Of course, we're gonna have to grab. The notebook again instead of you just putting it where you, I mean I guess other people need to like use I've the autopsy room too. Although there I seemingly am the only person working here, right? Because there's only one office, unless everyone uses the same office, which I assume not, because I got like a personal picture on the desk. Like no one else works. Uh, Jack, focus. There's just no other a office. Little bit longer. Dorothy works Corpses here? Now, where's Dorothy's office? The site of fire may have very different and complex histories. Oh, the letter? There's no letter. Wait, was there a letter by the... Wait, 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 wait. Letter by the door? I think the letter is fake. Ridley has just been a piece of shit. He just trolled me. I can't... There's... This is not the letter. I mean, unless it... How to break out of this vicious cycle. Ridley, can you please explain me where the letter is? You useless son of a. Hmm. Another, Another person gone kidnapping missing. Kidnapping this month. I don't think. Why did he say that there was a letter if there was no letter? I just don't get it. Is this the letter? No. Sir, can you give me the letter? This. I don't know. The letter might have disappeared. I'm not exactly sure. I, there's. There's like something near here that you can interact with, but it's like the documents. The. To... It won't be needed for the next few months. And nothing else really, so I, I don't know. Whatever, it, it doesn't matter too much. The desk in the autopsy room, maybe? Wait a minute. How did he get here? No. Oh, there's no letter here either. I think he's just, I think he just trolled me for no reason because he's a dickhead. Anyway, use the centrifuge. Let's go. Maybe he stole, maybe the guy stole, the maybe surface. the guy stole the letter. From Stroke, the office? Or pulmonary embolism. But then why did our character not say anything about it? He's saying everything about everything. <laughs> but not about that. It seems pretty important. Maybe. This particular case appears quite basic. Okay, we need to carbo... What now? Okay, 10 minutes, 85% speed. And... We go almost full speed here. However, I would warn against making a diagnosis too hastily. 
A fire victim does not always mean death due to smoke inhalation. Yeah, let's, I mean, I don't know. This is fucked up. Do we just stood here in front of the camera for The like centrifuge has completed its cycle. 10 minutes. So, as usual, I will take the samples to the laboratory, and I'll be back with the results shortly. Okay. I mean, we can check under the... We can check under the lamp again? I don't know, I've checked there, though. I don't think there's Ugh. any... Let's see. This? I can turn off the lamp, that doesn't do shit. It won't be needed for the next few months. This is nothing. Just a reminder, I'm seeing you on Friday. I'm pretty sure there is no letter. <clears throat> also, Jack pa Paget, thank you for the two What exactly was I supposed to test for? Right, here we go. Ah. Uh, C O H B. Ah. Uh. Go. I'll take two milliliters of huge sample. Bloop. You're getting like, f I'm going fucking Ugh. deep, but I can't do it without going like all the way down. I feel like you would be s taking up the blood then. I don't, or maybe we do want the blood. Maybe we want the bottom part. I thought we were getting the top part. Maybe that's where we gotta go all the way down. No, we are trying to get the top part. I don't get it. All right, whatever. This guy sleeps for 48 hours on the weekend. Maybe he works on the weekend too, I'm not sure. Well, he seems, confirmed. He seems Death to do nothing carbon but working. Monoxide poisoning. Carboxyhemoglobin levels at 84%. Okay. All right, I'll note this down and perform a check of the organs. I see. What? Um. What? Where? Mr. Ridley? Why did he take that fucking body? Why would he do that? Literally just make my job worse for no reason? There's no way he did that. Unless he's actually just an absolute dickhead. Why did you take the body? What body? Well, the body. You know, from the autopsy room? Christ, him. I didn't take any of your bodies. So who took it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Bro, are you but even- Get back to work. It's late. <laughs> this could have all been solved if this motherfucker Looked at anything. <laughs> this guy fucking sucks ass. He has to be the killer. Or he is actually like the worst security guard of all time. He must not be real. He cannot be real. There is no way. Like something something strange is happening here. You like how we would have never had some guy break into our office, some guy steal a body. <laughs> the hell dude in here maybe no nothing in there is it gonna be outside is it gonna be inside of the basement maybe bro this is your job <laughs> i guess we just gave up at this point we're like getting this guy to do anything at all is it gonna be in my office sitting in the chair no i thought that that would have been fucked up uh, maybe i oh, i think i'm just tired i think when we return he's probably gonna be back Maybe. Oh, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, the fridge. No, is the body back now? I'm just actually curious. No. Because we might just be crazy. Yeah. See. <laughs> okay. Never mind then. I saw. I think there's. Uh, I must have been seeing things. Okay. So we are also <clears throat> semi-crazy, obviously. Well, then we can. Uh, <clears throat> from the results. Really we can now be Definitely sure that the not. carboxyhemoglobin concentration was fatal. Oh. I think I should inspect the heart. The organ has a reddish-pink tint, 
which results from the concentration of COHB and general congestion of the organ. Look at the camera. Other than that, I can cross this off my list now. This is, are they are doing a good job keeping you immersed, though. I'm really curious, Red, like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, can I close? Can I use a click? Uh, what? <clears throat> Exclude heart attack. Oh, here we go. We will look at the lungs more carefully. From the outside, just like the heart, it is congested, and the color indicates poisoning. Yo, like in a thyroid. Thermal damage is visible here and there. Enough of the external exam. It's time to grab the knife and dissect the lungs. I, yeah, I don't think we can check the camera, guys. Burns or clots. It's, he doesn't even say anything about it. I can't check the footage. That would be uh, a good way to solve what uh, happened Jesus. here, though. But I guess he doesn't. Oh. It is way more subtle than, like, the straight-up jump scares all the time. Because in Mortuary, this is, like, 100% sure mm. that it's all, all like... Right. You can see changes in the lung parenchyma caused by burns Why does it look like inhalation. a yummy steak? <laughs> Nothing new here. Why does it look like a straight up steak? In, I mean, I guess. It's a nice cut. Slimy steak. It's got that sick marble. So let's complete the notes. And let's check the trachea. <laughs> Making me hungry. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, the color is the same as the rest of the organs. Significant congestion. Getting hungry. Let's see what it looks like inside. Don't see anything. Okay, the final cut. Hmm. There are visible burns inside, but what catches the eye the most is the amount of soot. Ugh. Looks like our subject was in the thick of the fire. Let's deal with the final notes, and we're ready to go. Okay, Let's there's deal still with the some final blood notes, there. <laughs> and we're ready exploding. to go. Okay. I considered the direct cause of death to be severe carbon monoxide poisoning, leading to extreme hypoxia of the body. So, gas poisoning? The extreme burns on the deceased's body and respiratory tract indicate that he must have been surrounded by fire. During the examination, no other factors were found that could have contributed to the victim's death. Environmental data does not indicate any third-party involvement. Why not, though? <laughs> like, I don't get... Like, I get that we're all like... This is 1991! You're gonna tell me that the first instinct of an examiner in 1991 was this guy must have been into some kinky shit? And not like this is a homicide? <laughs> I don't know. I, this doesn't strike me as feasible, but all right. Sure. <laughs> what the hell? So we're going to say it's an accident? Really? Just need to add my John Hancock. And so Just Your what now? What did you just say? <laughs> your Hank? You, uh? uh, what do we do for this one? We do, uh one of these <laughs> I'll close the body trying not to damage what's left of the skin as for stitching uh, there were other it, varies. Yeah, there were other it can be that the fire victims are in such a condition that there is nothing left to stitch I know that they found like porn stuff but like that you could just put that there like couldn't a killer just tight this guy up put some magazines there and then like haha they're gonna think he did it to himself like what <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, sure. So for this job, a thicker needle and heavy-duty thread. Well, everything's holding together. Keep well. After storing the body, there's nothing left for me to do. But thank you for your attention. All the best and good night. Alrighty. <laughs> what an insane uh, auto. My god. What an exhausting day. Uh, I need to get these gloves off and call a taxi. Yeah, can I we throw the gloves away? From exhaustion. 
So, I, I don't know. Why can't you throw the gloves away every time you just leave with the gloves? Lena, thank you for that $10 donation. Thank you. Okay, call a taxi from the office. How about... How about Ridley calls a taxi for me, huh? He's the guy who didn't spot the, the person slashing my tires. Fucking useless asshole. All right, I need to go to the office. Sorry, I just wanted to call Ridley out for being a useless piece of shit. Now I can continue my day. Oh, fuck. You're in sample. Oh, uh, no. Uh, okay, quick. I think I have a container in the lab or office. Oh. I see. I think we need to take a urine sample. We're definitely gonna, I don't know, I mean, alcohol might not stay in your system for that long. Uh, take a sample from the office, or I'm stupid. <clears throat> right there. Was this here the whole time? I swear this was not here the whole okay, time. Okay, this is it. Okay. Prepare a urine sample in the bathroom. <laughs> It was there the whole the, from the start of the game. Let's go prepare it. This is me when I go to the bathroom. Hey, sorry guys, I gotta prepare a urine sample in the bathroom. <laughs> here we go. Wait, where am I? Oh, here. We're not doing this in private. I guess it doesn't matter. Ridley's not gonna look outside of his newspaper anyway. He doesn't give a shit. Okay. Hmm. I'm dehydrated. I should drink more water. There is no piss. No piss? Give your sample to Ridley? <laughs> hey, Ridley, you want some piss? <laughs> Excuse me. As expected, sleeping like a log. Uh, I'm jealous. He's not sleeping. He's got his eyes open. He's fucking terrifying. What do you mean? Hey, Psycho, what's up? He's scary as hell, man. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you, everyone. We are playing Autopsy Simulator uh. today. Call a taxi from the office. Uh, and this guy right here, all you need to know, he sucks. We hate this guy. Also, he's apparently sleeping right now. He can sleep with his eyes open. He has let our car have all their tires slashed. He has basically done absolutely nothing. Someone broke into my office and stuff. And this guy's just been sleeping there. How am I liking this game? It's it's very fun. It's like, oh god. Um Fuck. What's going on here? I mean fun as in like a fucked up way. Fun as in like a mortuary assistant way, but more focus on the story. Uh call a taxi, here we go. Yeah, and our guy is pretty crazy. Also, we never take off our gloves. Fuck hygiene. Okay, taxi, we will take you wherever the wind takes you. <laughs> <clears throat> uh hello. I would uh, like to order a taxi to 574 Presley yeah, it's Street. It's a with chapter. Okay, oh, whoops. Uh, all of our drivers are busy at the moment. Best I can do is within the next hour. An hour? Oh, no. Uh, all right. Let it be. <laughs> he pissed with okay, the gloves. Yeah, wait. Jack Hammond. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, do you have our loyalty card? No. Would you like to set one up? Our regular customers, we have discounts and extra... Would that make the taxi get here faster? Right well... I thought so. Thank you. Goodbye. Ugh. This is already giving me a headache. This is going out of our paycheck? Brother. Oh, Jesus. What now? She's like chewing gum yes. or something. Yes. How can I help you? Jack. Oh. Jack. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh my god! What was that? What the fuck? That's our dead wife, by the way, in case you're confused. This was some kind of mistake. An hour here. I Don't drink. drink! Why? <laughs> you fucking stupid. Of course the medicine isn't working if you keep fucking drinking whiskey oh, right after strong. taking the pills everything's spinning okay complete chapter four uh excuse me hello 
Yeah, why is Sir... I mean, I guess Ridley doesn't give a shit if we're drinking on the job. Dream sequence? We only had one dream sequence before this one. Help me? Free rendered cussing? Chapter 5, here we go. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay. Do I... Is this... Fucking shit. Let me guess, Ridley... too far this time. Let me guess, I'm gonna take this to Ridley and Ridley's gonna be like, what? You did that! You, this is very normal. What's, what's Stones that? flying through the window. Oh, fuck. Literally, this whole game could have been prevented if Ridley wasn't a piece of shit doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> if he did his job? Is, is that blood? Oh, God, what's happened? Oh, Mr. Ridley? Yeah, you have some explaining to do. <sighs> oh, fuck. It's, it it clearly came commotion. from outside because the glass shards are on the inside, so it couldn't have been that we broke the window by just throwing, like, cracking it with the the brick and then dropping it there. I mean, unless they're actually gonna explain it like that, but it doesn't seem, or maybe it's hallucinating. Are you deaf? <laughs> sure, whatever you say, Hammy. Why is that even funny? Do I need to bring you the evidence? Sure, if you have oh, some. Oh fuck! Is it was it <laughs> fake? Me? Okay, I maybe Ridley is not. <laughs> maybe we are more crazy than Ridley is useless. Uh, I'm going home. <sighs> the taxi is probably waiting. No, I want to check if the this one is real. Left yesterday. Yesterday. Excuse me. How so? It's evening, Friday, November 29th, Handman. 29th of November. Oh, I. Sorry, I forgot that this was. Don't worry. Cases like these can be uh, extremely disturbing. Wait, it is fake. Okay, but I think like Ridley is still useless, but we are more crazy than Ridley is useless. <laughs> you should take your pills again. You keep taking too many pills, man. Stop taking the pills and then immediately like uh, taking five shots of whiskey right I after you, fucking idiot. Go to the cemetery later. Buy flowers. Not today. Oh, to forget the most important Wait. Of things. We're gonna do another autopsy? <laughs> Wait, so we slept for like 14 hours? Or the, how does our work life? What is our day life cycle? Like, we do nothing. We're fucking crazy. We're just Every like. Every fucking time. We didn't even uh, go home this time. If only Alice. Oh my god. Alice. No. <sighs> It's only, only just, oh, I'm so tired, so damn tired, God, uh, what has someone done, uh, I need to prepare, for the voice record, uh, uh, it's Jesus. November 29th, year 1991, uh, the autopsy is uh, performed by Dr. Jack Hanban. <clears throat> Amber Louvre. Investigators oh, determined that the victim was most likely dumped close to the nearby forest. What she the called to the bus stop on her own, as evidenced by the traces of blood Let's she left see behind. Blood. According to the information provided by the aforementioned friend, the car belonged to the Hurricane Taxi Network. Um, the company was provided with a description of the driver. However, they deny that any of their drivers fit the description. The police have been looking for the man since yesterday. Wait, that was the driver we were gonna take unless we... Did... Are we the kid? Did we do this? The body was lying in the grass beside the road. 
where it was spotted by commuters waiting for the morning bus. Are we to are we Red Pete? A friend at the salon testified that the last time she saw Amber was two weeks ago. It was her last day at work before a vacation. At around 9.40 p.m., she left in a taxi. That would make Ridley's job Amsterdam. even worse. <laughs> then Ridley would be even stu more stupid. Uh, why do people do such things? I'll move on. I'll move on to undressing the deceased. The deceased was brought in with... Now... <clears throat> Photo you filter? Graphic, uh, documentation. Okay. Jesus Christmas. The deceased skin is extremely oh, pale. God. No liver mortis is visible. So many marks. Yeah, there's uh, an arm missing. First of all. The deceased is missing her right arm. Oh god. Is that not a I feel like that is a I mean it's it's clearly homicide. We don't really have to know. <laughs> Lots of rough, irregular slashing cuts. Jeez. The deceased isn't also missing her left leg. That not important. It feels like there are so many important things that we're missing here. All in front of the hand is covered with numerous wounds. Uh, extensive hematoma on the victim's forehead. Bro, this is so fucked up. What else? The stomach has like slashes on it. Is that not a thing? Uh, legs. I already got this. Excuse me, am I stupid? <clears throat> There's still two things? Oh, there. Several signs of redness on the uh, neck and chest. Yes. And then over here. The deceased is caked in dirt and mud. You can see that Alice has been through a lot. Alice? Why do you keep saying that? He's slipping. <laughs> Why is she so... <clears throat> Focus. Okay. The overall... Picture is. Uh, I'll grab the magnifying glass. The wound looks relatively fresh. The deceased could have fallen, or maybe she was struck hard. It says Alice. Actually, wait, wait, wait. on the thing as well. <clears throat> Can I open it? No, it says Amber. Amber Louvre. The wounds were stitched up by someone who knew what they were doing. Okay. However, it seems that the sewing was done in a hurry and quite carelessly at that. So it's clearly us, right? Like <laughs> minor redness appearing in several places. The wound on the bend of the elbow seems much deeper. I'm wondering about this bruising. There are no signs of internal bleeding, detectable through an internal examination. Why does it all look like steak? Both the arm and leg were taken all the way to the joint. The perpetrator used a scalpel, but the cut line itself looks jagged. Scalpel. These wounds appear to have been caused by crawling across rough ground. Ugh. Let me sum this up somehow. This injury could have been fatal for Alice. It seems that the perpetrator was very interested in preserving as much skin as possible on the removed limbs. Some of the wounds were made by the victim crawling, and the hickeys... Hickeys are not fatal. 
But in this situation, they are worth examining. There appear to be no signs of struggle. Hey, saying, Alice. I assumed that the deceased had a cannula inserted and was groggy the entire time. The stitching doesn't appear fresh. Amber appears to have Amber? suffered like this for at least a few days. We do not know the exact circumstances of the wounds or the conditions in which the deceased was kept. <sighs> the perp maybe it was an accident, or perhaps the final blow. Even though the wounds were stitched closed, they were clearly reopened by the act of crawling. Alice suffered a lot because of this sicko. Alice? He keeps, like, interchanging. I'll check with the UV lamp whether what the perpetrator did. There are many indications that she wasn't aware of what she was being put through. Extensive toxicological tests should help determine what substances she was given. It is unknown how much blood Amber lost during her escape, and especially how much during the procedure performed on her. Infection could have set in, even if that wasn't fatal. It would severely weaken an already strained body. This has the hallmarks of some sick sexual fantasy. So he's quick to assume that, I mean, obviously here there's like sexual stuff going on, but like, I don't know, there's gotta be something with that. Uh, I will uh, check the UV lamp whether uh, on the hell. <clears throat> Amber's body. There are some clues. Sometimes the, the you can't select the items. Cases different. like these can be uh, extremely disturbing. Strong and clear traces of tape. Alice, Alice, you know that I would never. <laughs> I see. What the fuck? I see. I mean, they, they, I don't know in what. They, they check the bathroom for pills? Goodness gracious. Jack, breathe. Very cool. I'm like, I need to know what it's the just... fuck is going on. Like, what is real? What is fake? What is, like, <laughs> so. Pull yourself together. This could go so many different ways based on what's real and what's not. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of fake stuff going on. Gloves, of course. <laughs> Pick the board. Amber. Did it say Alice? But then I went away and then it says Amber. Maybe. I mean, it could. there could be lots of details here that you miss. That they change. So, like, maybe <clears throat> in retrospect, you would be able to see a lot well, of secrets. we left off with the, uh, the torso. Still says Alice? No, it says Amber. The top of the board says Alice? Oh, here, I see. No, but this is Amber. That says Al Yeah, 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 you're right. It has, like, faded out Alice around. Like, it, it got wiped away. I see what you mean. Okay, begin analysis. You can see that there are traces around the hickeys. Most likely saliva. The perpetrator was obviously looking for an opportunity to fulfill his paraphilia. Uh, oh, Christ. The police will have plenty to do. If I can find my hard drive, I could just take an x-ray. I'll move these tables away. Make room for the x-ray machine. Uh, maybe Dorothy should... Take over for me today. Yeah, where is I keep wandering off in my thoughts. Jesus Christ, that's fucked up. Fuck! What's going on here? Uh, Lady Sophia? What have I done to you, Alice? There's another body just laying around here. Wait, what? Have I lost my mind? I must have gone crazy. Yeah, uh, definitely. Oh, 
There it is. Uh, look at the hard drive it there. Huh? In my hand inside the, the brick. It's, I mean, the brick is here, but did we hit our head or did we, did we call, is that what called the wound on the head? It looks kind of similar, like a, a little, a sharp point. Probably. Oh, these bumps need changing. Okay, is the x-ray machine to perform the next examination? Is that in the lab? Where's the x-ray machine? Or is that in here? X-ray. It's, it's got to be somewhere else. The window was open again. Yeah, it keeps being open. X-ray. This X-ray is here. No X-ray machine. Uh, excuse me. Maybe in the storage all the way. Or does we have it in our office? No. It's just over the bed. <clears throat> Basement. It doesn't say where. It's got to be in here then. It's not this thing, right? It's just the light. Wait, is it this thing? No. Wait, you can turn off the light? I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> okay. Uh. Look at the extra machine to perform the next. I mean, I guess it is basement. Why would they not specify that? They'd have specified it every single time, but I guess it is basement. To roll it in there. Why would it be so far away though? Or is it in the storage, maybe? Hello? It's not highlighted. I feel like it will be highlighted. They all know. Huh? Did you answer your phone? Telephone? Excuse me? What phone? They all know. Huh? The phone rang a few minutes ago. Uh, I didn't hear anything. For you to take medicine. How so? For you to get results. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll call them back. What the f- Oh, this is the x-ray machine, probably. Uh, excuse me? Let me... Listen to the voicemail? No, I can't. Okay, I take medicine then? It still says look at the x-ray machine, but I feel like I need to... So I can take as many pills as I want? Because it seems like every time I can take the pills. That's weird. Maybe you could, like, get a different ending if you took the pills better? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Is it this? I can't go in there. This looks like the machine, no? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's got to push it. Why is it all the way over here? Something spooky gonna happen? Oh, I guess I've been here too long. The guard was gone. Wait, was the guard gone when we came How by there? Is it? Uh, it all rolls into one. Okay. Next right time. Uh, yeah, if you never take pills, right. I don't think you can avoid taking the pill. Maybe now you I can. Need to set the machine up. Okay, now fire it up. Click a button. Beep boop. Take the detection plate from the side of the machine. Mount the panel under the head of the corpse. I see. Oh, now. Now center it between the eyes at the root of the nose. What the fuck? Center it. Oh, there we go. Can I move this? I can. Like that. Sensor in between the hour we want to interact with this. This? Don't we want to... Do we want to inspect this wound or what do we actually want to exactly inspect here? Do we need to just make it bigger? The whole thing? Like that? I'm trying to frame the whole head. Is this good enough? It's like lighting up differently. Click the button. Is this good enough? 
The whole entire plate. Really? It doesn't seem like that works. How do I interact? How do I make it start? I feel it said that I had to center it around the eyes. If when I did the plate corners, it didn't do it. Okay. Oh, that that's good? good. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Gotta just make it bigger. I thought for sure this old thing would have tripped the breaker. Nope. All right. I just need to take the hard drive to the lab. I'll print the image and uh, I need to check the frontal bone, crystal galley, aneurysm, internal auditory canals, Alice, ethmoid, and frontal sinuses. Why did this have to happen to her? The greater and lesser wings of the sphenoid bone and <coughs> drive connected. Now, just to upload the image. Uh, and now I can print it. Okay. Hmm. It looks like a good exp. Why? Why can't I see the wound? I need to look at this in the light box. Is this not even the body that's in front of us? View the X ray at the light box. Light box? What's a light box? Is it. Excuse me? <clears throat> this thing? I see. This is the light box. Strange. I, I guess I'll have to repeat. What? Turn on the light box? Why did you just stop talking? <laughs> Let there be light. Oh, damn. Uh, I knew this luck wouldn't last. You saw that? Oh, I almost believed that this would go off without a hitch tonight. It changed into After Alex. The st these flickering For lights Alice? would drive anyone over the edge. And now it's all broken. Uh, Great. Fuck. Don't you wish? I'll need the flashlight and to find Ridley for help. Ridley isn't even real. Shit, whatever, just check in with Rid Ridley. What? Um. Uh, Ridley? Ah. Uh. There's a surprise. Why is it that whenever I need Ridley for something, he magically disappears into the ether? Open the uh, shed? Oh my god. Oh, Alright. What now? I'll start the generator in the shed. Oh. Maybe it's been left unlocked. For once, Ridley's carelessness will be useful. <laughs> <sighs> is this it's place like abandoned and we're just like a serial killer and that came it looks here? like it won't be as simple as I hoped. Ah, great. And the keeper of the keys has left his post. Oh, God, no. God. I haven't even started the dissection yet. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna get a hammer. Okay, I don't have hammer. the time or the strength. Okay, hammer. Jesus Christ, some moth. They're gonna be in the storage. A random coffin laying around. Yeah, the sighing is maybe a little much, but it's mostly because you have the subtitles telling you constantly that he's about to sigh, and then you hear the sigh, it feels like there's double sighs. Not in there. I'm assuming we check the storage room. Hammer, there you go, thank you. Could have. Uh, Jesus, I'm feeling dizzy. Can you take- oh, I'm exhausted. Can you take pills, like, in a situation? I'm just kind of curious. Can we take it now as well? That makes me wonder if... That's interesting. Can I just... Huh? That's weird. I can just take infinite pills? I'm not gonna keep taking pills because then we're gonna die, <laughs> but still, maybe. I don't know if you're gonna actually die. So mysterious, I love it. What the fuck? <laughs> Secret ending? Please get a sip of water. Yeah, he's crazy. He's just like. 
drinking them or, wouldn't, or just taking them dry. Is there something in the office window? There was the... Oh, there's no... Wait, the, the brick is still there. You see? The brick is... That's a very bright flashlight. So the brick is, at least for now, real. But nothing might be real for all we know. I'm not sure. What am I doing? I need to wait for it to go in the center. Please, what are you doing? There we go. God damn it. It's actually holding up. <sighs> Fine. Oh, well. Something new in this shithole. <laughs> Makes a change. <sighs> God. <sighs> I it's am there's not doing pictures well. again from. <sighs> uh, now what? Is that Alice? Fucking hell. Because those are the same pictures that were in stuff. the hallway in our apartment complex, remember? And it kind of looks like. I mean, I guess. I don't know if it's Alex. Or Alice. I keep saying Alex. I mean, Alice. Check the generator. Something's missing here. It, it might just be reused textures, but I'm not sure. A crank. And locate uh, the generator crank. Oh, no. There's so much shit in here. Uh, it's going to be highlighted, though. Don't worry. When I turn off my flashlight, I'll be able to see it with my sixth sense of gaming. I guess not. <laughs> Shit, I was hoping it would highlight. There it is. Never mind, it's vodka. A lot of vodka. It's in a biohazard container. What? There is more alcohol. That's a lot of drinks. There's classified documents here. I mean, I guess it is an autopsy place. What the fuck did I just do? What is even this? It's an empty box. There's the uh, crank. Yes. That's I soup. This'll work. The fuck is that? It's just like disgusting moldy soup. Ah, uh, it fits. All right. Now, just to crank it up. Something wrong? Great, get started. Ah, uh, not for long. Ah, uh, oh man. Maybe it's low on fuel? Locate some fuel in here or outside. I, s I s remember seeing some, maybe up here. No, none of those. I think I've seen some jerry cans outside. The other side is empty though. Are there any guys spying on me right now? I feel watched. <laughs> I wonder if there's like secret things. Is it in the basement? Also, there's a brick. We can go in the basement. How are we outside with the light on? Wait, how the light inside is not on. It's just my flashlight is extremely bright, so there's more. I love the ton the the sound it makes. There was a little in there. Another generator. This is like... This is all gonna make so much more sense when we finally understand what, what the hell. What has been going on here. Those are my gloves. That I've been using this whole time. Is there no fuel here? This one sounded like it had some in there. Finally. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'll just start this thing and call Dorothy. Okay, then. Dorothy is like my <sighs> therapist or something. I think I've had enough. I shouldn't even be here. This is Not gonna be today. like a huge mind blow at the end. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy is a coworker, but I'm trying to figure out like what the actual because obviously this is not nothing is as it seems. That's kinda like I don't think we are actually working here. I guess that's enough. Nice. At least that's what I'm starting Another to feel like. Empty jerry can to add to the collection. I
Are we gonna oh, end up like the happened? guy? What the fuck? Uh -oh. Who tied me up? It's only for a moment. Sorry, Stephen? man. Stephen? What the fuck do you mean? I think I hit you too hard with that shovel. What? Oh, haha. Ha, great fucking joke. Untie me now. I don't have the energy for your shitty games. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I don't understand. Steven. Steven what do you was mean? the guy that broke into this our office, too. Be some kind of mistake. I... You, 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 and your you walking on clogs? You, <laughs> like, you and your problems. You're not the victim here. But, but. Shut up! Can you shut your mouth for just one fucking second? To me, you are just a murderer. But. What? What? Knocked down? You thought I didn't know anything? I don't have any idea what you're talking about! Steven! My poor sister. Even now, you can't muster up any courage. Any honesty. You disgust me. I suspected you from the beginning. As soon as I found out that... That Alice is dead. I knew it was you. Tumors. Aneurysms. Unexplained circumstances. Who are you trying to fool? Hmm? For God's sakes, you're a doctor! Steven, no. It doesn't work like that. Shh! I haven't finished talking. Why did you lie, Jack? Why, why didn't you say anything? You confessed! <sighs> I knew I had to do something about it myself. Any of this making any sense yet? Hmm? Threats? A ring? Photos? Red Pete on the loose? <laughs> Pirates <laughs> was so loud. He I'm died sorry. in that accident, by the way. You sick fuck. Yes, I am. <laughs> You've no clue just how much. Oh, I'm on some fantastic fucking drugs for it. Only, I've been slipping them to you. <laughs> what is he? I, I'm I was still hoping to, to break this. you down. That you'll be pushed into doing something drastic to yourself. And I'll just stand there and watch. <sighs> Her tumor was curable. That's a filthy lie. This. Wait. So we aren't a murderer? It was only a matter of time. Again, lying. I saw the scans. <sighs> you know what? I think I've had enough of your bullshit. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. I lied. But hear me out. We had an argument that day, worse than usual. I was... I was drunk, <laughs> and I was angry. <laughs> there was a fight. I, I pushed her... I pushed her against the wall. Bro! She hit her head and... She fell... She fell, yes. So... Just like okay. that. Limp and lifeless. I panicked. I thought... I thought so we did it the whole time. I don't know. I didn't think at all. I was afraid I had caused it. That someone will accuse me. I mean, be didn't the you, end of though? My career. When I called an ambulance, it was too late. Way too late. It wasn't an accident. And then I lied. I said that's how I found her. That I wasn't there with her. And now, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Ever, everything. This whole year. What a just cry me a river? Excuse me? Memories. What the fuck is this? As if I didn't exist at all. Yeah, I don't Since care. You killed her. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck, here we go again. Even now. <laughs> Even now, you have the nerve to lie. Steven, I'm sorry. I suffered too. <laughs> it Shut wasn't up. an accident. You understand now? Someone has to pay for this. What's going on here? Steven dropped the gun. It's none of your business, Sean. Leave and forget you saw anything. Someone called Steve, the ambulance. you know I can't do that. Mr. Ridley, please, run. Shut up. You know I'll shoot if I have to. Well, in that case... <laughs>
Let's do this. Steven. What? No! No, Ridley! I never thought I'd care about that guy. What? Okay, so that was the first chap. What? The it's a bit abrupt at the end here, <laughs> but uh, okay. So we get what the hell? It just this just feels a bit weird. It feels like it just paused in the middle of a cutscene, but. So Ridley, okay, Ridley just got shot. I, I never thought I'd give a shit about this guy, but it's, I think we have been mostly crazy, so he might not have even done much wrong. I mean, he did not spot this guy, Steven, slashing our tires. Steven has definitely been doing some weird shit. So we killed, like, in an accident, but we killed, basically, the wife. And then we tried to cover it up, and that has been guilty. And Steven knew that. And Steven is the brother of Alice, apparently, which I didn't know. And he has been giving us drugs this whole time? So, I wonder then, if if you weren't taking the drugs, would it change anything? And also, it said- wait, how many achievements are there? Okay. Because so, it said finish and the first dead memory. That implies the existence of multiple dead memories. So, what are the other ones? I'm curious. So, wait. Dead memories? I can click continue here. I'm assuming that leads back to the same thing. Maybe there's another way to do it. No, this just leads back to chapter five. Yeah, I assume there's gotta be... No, no, no. You want to go to the main menu? Yeah. Uh, I There might be something if you don't take the pills or something. I feel like there was some kind of like credits like song missing there to make it feel like a prop maybe it's supposed to not feel like a proper ending because you're supposed to go back in i don't know let me check this uh, achievements to see if there might be other endings let's see what do we got here we have examine at least five alice related items get to the top floor of the building and the second dead memory can you forgive me lower jack sanity irreversibly how would you end the second dead memory? Zero percent of people have done this because it is the game comes out tomorrow. So yeah, there's definitely different endings. Sick music here. I'm assuming you'd either have to play the game and not take the pill somehow. Maybe you can just avoid taking them all together. This is very interesting. Okay, so yeah, that was the first ending, which is probably the one you get to by just or it's clearly the one you get to by just following the story. We were definitely overthinking things. We were thinking like all kinds of wacky shit. Like what I was expecting at the end there is that it was all just fake. We like broke into an autopsy center and we were just role playing as someone doing autopsies that whole time. And we were like, nothing was real, but it turns out more was real than I thought. But we were, we ended up like, we killed our wife in an accident. I wonder what the other things are. Let me know if you want to see those. So yeah, that was uh, the at least the first ending for Autopsy Simulator. I had a great time with that one. It's like more focused on the story than Mortuary Assistant, which means it might have some less replayability. But I'm definitely very curious what the other things are. And who knows, maybe next time we'll check those out. Hope you enjoyed the first video here. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, the love the game is here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye yeah a little abrupt at the end there but holy shit man i'm curious though i'm obviously it's extremely late right now so we're not gonna go back in uh but yeah how would i get to those i don't know if they're gonna do like a day one patch that's gonna make this a little bit clearer like how you can start different chapters or something or if you would have to maybe you would have to just play a different playthrough it would depend on if you can just skip out on the pills because it's giving you like objectives on how to t like to take the pills but maybe you can just avoid those but anyway that was lots of fun thank you guys uh if you haven't already checked out the game for yourself i mean the sponsor is long over it's only for like two hours but we decided to play the whole game because it was fun uh make sure to click the link wishlisted for yourself check it out tomorrow uh yeah it seems like there is at least and the second dead memory there's at least this one and then i don't know what's with this this also seems like it's gonna be a separate ending. Lowers Jack sanity irreversibly. Maybe just spam. Maybe this is if you just spam the pills. Like if you just take pills over and over and over again. So yeah, very mysterious. It's it has you like scratching at your head the whole time. Um, very cool. Like what the hell? <laughs> I still don't know. I need to like replay it again to see what the hell was even real 
at the end of the game. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for chilling today. Hope you had fun. I know I did, even though it was fucked up. It's like, I don't know, this is with a lot of horror games, right? It's it's fucked up, but fun at the same time. That's how kind of how horror games go. This was a little bit more like that because it was even more fucked up because of all the implications and all the bodies and shit. But yeah, hope you guys had fun. Uh, if you're watching over on YouTube or on Twitch, I appreciate you. I will be linking the video from earlier today. Which was uh, the mortuary assistant video. How fitting. I thought I'd upload that on today. That would be the perfect video to upload on the day that we're also playing Autopsy Sim. So if you want to check out another game um, that has uh, dead bodies involved, you can check that one out. I will link it in the Twitch chat and in the YouTube chat. You guys can meet each other in the comments. Uh, hope you had fun watching on YouTube. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye, guys. See you. Uh, let's go... Uh, find some on the raid before we go. Thank you guys so much for chilling. Even this late, I'm pretty tired myself. Um, everyone's playing this right now. Holy shit. Everyone is playing this right now. <laughs> Wait, literally everyone. Boys. <laughs> but not, not. The, I see Ella is playing it. Bok is playing it. Larks is playing it. <laughs> Jojo is playing it. Who do we. Nah, I don't know in a raid. Everyone is playing this game. I don't want to necessarily raid someone playing this because they might get spoiled if we raid. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil someone by. Holy shit, so many people. 43,000 viewers right now on this game. Everyone be playing this. Uh, I think we're going to raid someone else though. I don't want to. I don't want to raid someone playing this game and accidentally get them spoiled. So why don't we go say hi to. Let's see. Anyone playing. Phasmo right now. Let's scroll down. Uh, here maybe? It's been, I think we've raided here before, but it's been a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, everyone is gaming. Everyone be autopsy gaming. Let's see. We have raided here, but that was a, an entire year or two years ago. So, why don't we go say hi here again? Hope you guys are gonna have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow. So, tomorrow, it's gonna be different from usual. It's Thursday, but it's not gonna be Terrible Trio because CJ couldn't be, couldn't play on Thursday. So, we're playing on Friday instead. So, tomorrow is just gonna be a regular stream. I don't know if we're gonna play Welcome to the Game Plus again or if we're gonna do something else, but tomorrow is just horror games. And then Friday is gonna be Elden Ring. So, if you're looking forward to Elden Ring, Friday is the day to look out for. Um, we're going to go say hi over here. Thank you guys so much for chilling. I will see you all tomorrow with another stream. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one. See you. Love you, guys. See you. See you.